Mm-hmm. Yo, yo, if you guys are in the chat, drop an emoji. Let me know how you feeling today. Mm-hmm. Drop an emoji for us. Man, fellas, talk to me. How's everybody doing today? What up, what up, what up, what up, man? Yeah, we're running good, Joe. I'm running good. Let's do it. What's for the sure. temperature like? I want to know what's the panel. We the panel? We the panel, baby. Yes, we the are. Panel, the panel is none other than Chill Town, Sports Fluent, Low, Legend of Winning, and Ticket TV. That's who the panel is. I like it. I like Low, it. How you how, how you living today, bro? Very busy day, but I'm doing good. I'm doing good, man. Trying to get everything situated, but obviously had to be here, man. Won't, won't miss it for for anything else, man. Yes, sir. Happy to hear that. Ticket, man, talk to us. Another day in the office, baby. I feel it. I feel it. But before we get into, you know, the pressing topics we got going on, does anybody have anything they need to get off their chest? Yeah. Did y'all, did y'all here to talk about ball don't stop saying Shaq is not the best player and was never the best player? Who? Ball don't stop. Say that who? Shaq was never the best player in the league. Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. Who said that? Ball don't stop. No it's way. the same. It's the same logic that Gilbert Arenas used for for Giannis, that he's not because because he lacks skill and he lacks you know he's not as skilled as Trace McGrady and Kobe was at that time. What? Well, it was was was, well, huh? <laughs> he's the most dominant. That's literally what he said. He said he's the most dominant, but he was not the most skilled. Uh, okay, but then, hold on, hold on. Did he say? Hold on. Now you said something different. So he's not the most skilled. Or oh, I'm sorry, I'm right. You're not, you're not the, the best. He was not. The best no, player. he was never the most skilled. He didn't have to be. But, but that's his best the most argument. Dominant, he's the best. You can't give me any legit logic. I, I would love to hear legit logic on how Shaquille O'Neal was not the best player in the game. I'm all ears for that. Well, because we, we got to look at this. First of all. We couldn't hit free throws. Okay. Like you had something that could actually you could actually take him out the game with. Mm-hmm. And he really, I mean, Shaq was everything, what, five feet in. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Had no mid-range game, no long game. Mm-hmm. And when you look at other guys, you had other guys that were more skilled than Shaq, but he was just so big and strong. Mm-hmm. Shaq could do anything with you. But then when you put him against guys like Hakeem and skilled mm-hmm. big men that could take him away from the basket and expose him a little bit, he mm-hmm. did have problems. But Shaq dominated the era because he was so big and so strong. Right. It was just impossible for dudes to really control him physically. That's where Shaq dominated you. But, you know, that whole time, I always was of the mindset that Kobe Bryant was a, a more skilled player, uh, you know what I'm saying, and just a better all-around player than Shaq. I just thought Shaq was the, the most dominant. I mean, even if you went through those years. And look, man, Shaq, like I said, Kobe was leading the teams in the playoffs and scoring, and then they get to the finals, and they had a weak big man. And then Shaq would just dominate the weak big man in the East and get the NBA Finals MVP. But if you really look at it, a lot of those years, Kobe was leading the team in scoring, going through the playoffs. He was doing a lot of the heavy loading in the Western Conference. Meanwhile, when Shaq was playing against those hitters in the Western Conference, he wasn't dominating the same way he did when he got to the NBA Finals and was playing leftovers like Todd McCullough and dudes like that. Mm-hmm. And an old Dikembe in Mutombo. Because in the West, he was he was, he was was going against the hitters in the West. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, why, that's what I think, man. Now, with that being said, so – Let's let's rewind the clock a little bit. So we'll start the conversation with Shaq did add a 12 to 15 foot fall away in his game. He had that over the left shoulder. That was money. I watched him do it against Matumbo all night. In fact, I have never seen him. That was that was absolutely a 12 to 15 foot fall away. No doubt. Add that to the fact that we're talking about a game at that time. You talking about the game today. Guys don't shoot the long ball. Big men didn't shoot the long ball back then. That was the game. So the big man played in the post. No, that's not true. They didn't shoot the ball. They did stretch the floor. Which, a which big, which big guys? Which five Pat, men? Pat, which... Ewing, Pat, Pat Ewing and it was really out there shooting mid range to okay. close the line. Pat right. Ewing mm-hmm. also you had uh, uh, David Robinson, uh, David Robinson. David Robinson. So okay. You had, dudes, you had dudes that could really stretch the floor and really mm-hmm. shoot the ball from that distance. So right. you know, even Charles Barkley had a nice little mid range jump shot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so. Shaq, you said that Shaq was 12, man. Shaq was yes, sir. five or six feet close No to way. Shaq, 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 had, Shaq, had, Shaq had an over-the-left shoulder. Shaq had an over-the-left shoulder jump hook that was about 12 feet, and it was money. Absolutely Shaq, money. Shaq, Shaq shot from 3 to 10 feet, 3 Thank to 10 feet, 43-plus percent. 
that's more than LeBron. What does James have to do with this? I'm, I'm not just really saying, sure what James has to do with saying. this. I don't understand <laughs> what James has to do with this. Of course, we're that's gonna bring James into this. You said you said he can shoot three to ten feet. He shot a higher percentage than some of the greats of today. Is all I'm saying. So he did have a a medium mid range at three to ten feet. That's all. Just happened. But to how many did he shoot though? Well, of course, he didn't shoot that many. That's not he his shot. So if he has got a big sample size, I mean, I can go out there and shoot two threes my whole career, make one, shoot fifty percent, and say, "Hey, man, I shot fifty from the three. Well, I, again, I don't, I, I don't know if that logic works. But when we talk about Shaq being the skilled big man that he was, even though he was a lot of force, Shaq was primarily force. I can't fight that, and I will not fight that. Shaq was primarily force, but Shaq did have Shaq for his size had great footwork. Shaq was a great transition player. Shaq made free throws when they counted. I remember him icing a bunch of games at the free throw line. He wasn't a great free throw shooter, but I remember him icing a bunch of free. I remember him icing a bunch of games against Sacramento. I remember him icing games against the New Jersey Nets in the finals. I remember him icing a bunch of games. He made free throws when they counted. He might not have been great, but he did make free throws when they counted. Add that all up with the fact that Kobe Bryant was doing what Kobe Bryant did. And in fact, Shaq needed him to develop. But Kobe needed him to be who he was in the playoffs. Shaq led the playoffs in scoring. Shaq led the Lakers in scoring in the playoffs all three of those years that they went to the finals. He was the playoff I mean, leader. He, he was the scoring leader. Yeah, I mean, 42%. 42% the finals, of his shots were 3 to 10 I mean, feet. I mean, you get well, to the finals, you're averaging 37. Obviously, your average will come up for the whole for the whole playoffs. He did that one time. If you look what? at a lot of the series, Kobe Bryant was leading a lot of them series in scoring, except for get, when they got to the finals. He no, did that one time, by the way. That yo, 37. Yo, that 36 Kobe more skilled, but to say that Shaq was never the best player ever can't hit. the game is crazy. <clears throat> yo, I, I want to hear from you on this topic. Oh, no, nah, I mean, it's, no, before, we get, before no, we get no, into the show. Pretty, obviously. Yeah, he sure. was, I mean, uh, he was, like, Shaq was very clearly the best player. I, I'm just, it, but it was based off of the whole, like, skilled, non-skilled, all that type of stuff. Like, the same thing that Gilbert Arena was saying about Giannis a week or two ago. It's just weird but, to me. Like I, I understand where they what they're saying, but like at the end of the day, but the point of the game is to put the ball in the basketball and to prevent the other team from doing that. It's is weird when when we do that, and like if if somebody struggles at doing that and they're not skilled enough, then that that shows how bad they are. But if the other ultra skilled guy doesn't do that, then oh it's just a, it was just a bad series, or oh it was really great defense, or oh it was da 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 da. But if Giannis struggles or Shaq struggled, then see that's proof that they weren't skilled enough. This is why they're not the best player. Kobe, T Mac, Durant, all these Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving has struggled tremendously post LeBron in the playoffs, and nobody doesn't say anything. For somebody who's supposed to be the most skilled player of all time, that some people like to say, he has struggled tremendously in the postseason post LeBron, and nobody doesn't say anything at all. And that's just weird to me. Because there's a misconception that skill or talent makes you the best, and it Which doesn't. Makes nuts. It, it doesn't. Nuts. It makes you the most skilled, maybe the most talented. That doesn't make you the best. And I, you know, I always, I always use Vince Carter. Vince Carter was more skilled and talented than ninety percent of the guys to ever play basketball. But we never talk about him as a top player. Why? Because he lacked those intangible things that skill and talent can't do for you. Hey, mm. hey that, that's true. But let's let's be clear. And I got to say this. This is why I told y'all before the show, I got Giannis all time better than KD right now. A lot of these dudes that y'all praising and y'all put up on these pedestals, they would be Vince Carter if they wasn't stacking the decks to win championships. No, nah, Vince they Carter fell be, off. No, 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 no. <laughs> they would be Vince, Vince Carter. Carter. Listen, here's why I say Carter. that. And I'm being honest with y'all when I say this. Think about this. What has Kevin Durant done? When has he ever overcame adversity outside of being with the Golden State Warriors? And All right, hold on. I'm ticket, ticket. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna stop you there because we about no, we about to get into KD. We we really about to get into KD. That's actually our first topic. Before we do that, I want to shout out everybody that's viewing live right now. We have 633 people in here. Can we get the 633 likes like ASAP? Uh, I want to shout out everybody that's subscribed. Uh, shout out everybody that you know be checking out all of our other shows too. Today we have the panel, and this is us up here right now. Uh, with no further ado, answer that question though. Make them answer that question. I want you to make them answer that question. Hold, hold on, no. He, I, no, I don't want you to get off that, though. No, we're going to stay on that. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We're going to get on that. We definitely going to stay on that. What Puma said is going to make me feel away, and I'm serious about this, because he just said he, he, went, he went at Vince Carter. Cool. No problem. But well, what would all these other dudes be if they wasn't stacking the deck to win chips? They killed Damian Lillard. 
because he won't go play for a super team. So they say he rots in Portland, right? But what is he without stacking the deck? A dude that's out there fighting to carry his team, right? What are some of these other dudes in NBA history that didn't get a chance to stack the deck? We were just talking about Dominique Wilkins. What if Dominique Wilkins got to play with three of the best players in his era? You would be talking about him like you're talking about James right now. That's not what we're talking about. We'd be talking about Dominique. We'd be talking about KD now. That's my point. It's differently when we view these guys, Ron. You would be talking about them. We're not letting them off the hook ticket. We're not letting them off the hook ticket. We're not. I don't think tickets watch this my show. I really got smoke for you, Lo, for your LeBron James video on me. Because all these dudes y'all praising, I'm going to tell y'all right now, dog, they will be Vince Carter if they ain't stacking the deck. Because guess what? Vince Carter is a very low all we seen, All we seen was a bunch of failure. And, and instead of them do, going through the grind like Giannis did, they folded like chumps and ran and got their buddies. It's just like what happens <clears> when you're in school and you get beat up. You get beat up, you run and go get your boys, you come back and jump somebody and beat them, and you feel good. You run around acting like you the king, but really you ain't a king of nothing. Because when you had to stand there – as a man yourself, you couldn't get it done. So look look at what Giannis did, which is why I got him all-time over KD right now. Look at what he did on his own merit with a slow start, too. Didn't come in the league with all the, all the lore that these guys had. Now, look at these other dudes that y'all calling all-time greats and superstars, right? If they, if they had to go the same route as Vince Carter, not playing on super teams, having to lead their teams, having to be that guy, like I said, the question stands again. We can start with KD. What would he be? When has he ever overcame adversity when he didn't play for the Golden State Warriors? In his whole career. In can his I, whole can, career. Can, can I, Ron, can I address go, that, please? Go, go, go ahead, Chill. I, 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 I want all of you guys to touch down on that, and then I actually have a KD quote that we're going to touch down on right after that. Uh, yeah. tick, or Chill, what would KD be without basically going to Golden State or Brooklyn or any of that? Well, first of all, they built that unit around KD. And they were doing a phenomenal job at building that unit around KD. But KD didn't think that he could win with that unit. After they had lost being up 3-1, he didn't think that he could win with that unit. It's his fault. It, actually, it's not his fault. How? But we talk, at, hold up, Ticket. Let him, let him go, Ticket. Let him go. He'll always, yo, Chill do this to me all the time. He always do this. He don't hold <laughs> these dudes accountable, bro. That's why I get mad at y'all all the time. Y'all call these dudes great, but y'all don't hold them accountable to the highest standards. All right, all right, chill. Here's the problem. I got to start with the the, mute button early. Here's the problem that we're having with that logic. Ticket, your logic is stay here and go through the grind. That's your logic. Stay here and go through the grind. But the problem with that is, is that I'm relying on the organization to build this around me. And if the organization isn't building this around me, according to you, stay here. So if I'm in school and I'm getting whooped every day, and I'm not getting any help. And I'm just getting beat up every day. Stay here and keep getting beat up. I ain't going to have nobody come help me. None of my friends aren't, aren't big enough, aren't strong enough to come help me. But just keep getting beat up every day by these dudes. Add all of that up with the fact that none of these dudes that you talk about in terms of being held accountable. James never, James never demanded to be traded. KD didn't demand to be traded. KD yeah. played his contract. K, KD, 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 oh. played his, KD played his contract out in Golden State. Oh, okay. LeBron James played each one of his contracts out in Cleveland and in Miami. He never demanded to be traded. Michael Jordan, to this day, I am 100% confident, even though he told the New York, even though he told the Chicago Bulls in 95, had the, had the, not, had the Chicago Bulls not paid him, he would have went and played for the New York Knicks for $10 million less. That's not my opinion. That's a fact. That's not- that was going on. Add that all up with the fact that they built that unit around him and they gave him, they oh, gave him the, they gave him the people that he needed to have in order to compete for a championship. And the same thing happened in Milwaukee. They gave Giannis the pieces that he needed, add all of that up with them giving him the pieces that he needed. He had some things go his way also. It wasn't like Giannis was just running around with a bunch of okay dudes. Okay, had- okay. Now I'm about to burn his ass up, Ron. Don't, come, don't put me on mute now. I'm now all, I'm about I'm to burn in. his ass up. I'm all this, is we, this is what we come back around to accountability. Okay. Kevin Durant in that same series, game five, game six, game seven, what did he do? Why he couldn't close the deal? He's Kevin Durant. Right. He's Kevin freaking Durant. Right. He's supposed to be one of the top two best players in the world, Craig. Mm-hmm. Right? But he couldn't get it done. He could not end game at home. At home, he couldn't get it done. Correct. Back in his house. Mm-hmm. You're up three one. You can't mm-hmm. get one more game. So go look at game five. Go mm-hmm. look at game six. Go mm-hmm. look at game seven. 
And once again, this is a pattern throughout Katie's career. The same stuff you see all throughout these dudes' career. They fail. They don't want to accept failure. And guess what? You talked about Giannis' team. Giannis' team wasn't really that much different than KD's team in OKC. Guess what? KD, when he went to OKC from the time he was there to the time he left, he pretty much had top five teams in the NBA. He never could win one championship ever. He, we even saw Dirk Nowitzki. We saw mm-hmm. Dirk Nowitzki down and out in a series two and one against LeBron James, mm-hmm. D Wade, and Chris Bosh in their prime come back and win the championship, which is why I got Dirk ranked all time over KD too. Because these dudes is cowards. They don't want to go through the grind. They do more tweeting than they do working on their game and working on building their heart and getting on the court and getting all it right. done. All right, play. Ticket. But all Ticket, right. Right. Why, no, no. Ticket, I'm, ticket. I'm, listen, I'm, ticket. Ticket. I'm, 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 I'm listening to you, Ticket, and you telling me talking about the grind. You know that KD was in Oklahoma City for eight years. It wasn't like he was there for two or three years. He was there for eight years, Ticket. Not only was he there for eight years, LeBron James was in Cleveland for seven years. How long is he supposed to stay there? How long are these guys supposed to be? Let me ask, let me ask, ahead, you, I'm sorry. Let me ask you guys this question, though. I, I, I'm, I'm cool. Listen, I've said this before. I have no issue. You're a free agent, which means you're free to go right. wherever you want. Go. Right. But if the question is, who is KD without going to Golden State and without winning those rings? Right. He is a we, he is looked at as a lesser player. So am I going to give him the full flowers for going to Golden State and winning two rings versus if he had stayed in OKC and won those rings? No, he he did take the easy way out. He went and joined the best record team and won a couple rings. So he's somewhere in between if he had won, stayed in one and if he didn't win at all. So I do knock him. I don't blame him. Did what he had to do for his legacy, but it's not the same. Him winning those rings in Golden State is not the same as Giannis winning his ring with the Bucks. It's just, it's not. Thank you. Which is why I, I never said it was. I never said it was. I never said it was. But that's what you pray. Y'all praise these dudes like they did, bro. Y'all praise him. Y'all praise LeBron. All these dudes cheated the system. And no, the reason didn't. why I say that is because a majority of the NBA, a, ma- a majority of the league, let's, let's say it was three teams in the league, two or three teams max that had super team in one time. All the other dudes is out here fighting, going through the grind. So they're getting the treatment. That fluent just said about Vince Carter, oh, they ain't this, they ain't that. But they ain't they not able to cheat the debt, the system. They're not able that's, to stack that's, the debt. That's, that's most, that's well, most teams. That's, that's how it was in the majority of NBA he, history, though. How great is these dudes? LeBron James got the most trades in the NBA history on his watch. In the history of the game. It's not even fun. It's not even close. Yo, and we yo, praising yo. these dudes. Hold on. We yo, praise tap in, low. We praise KD. Hold on. KD had picked three different teams. Low, low, tap in. Low's frozen. Yeah, low He's out. Frozen, low, yeah. Low's out. Low, low is out. Uh, yeah, yeah this is what happens when you try to come at me. Because you you're bringing yourself. When you try to come at me, you eat no. yourself. No. If you come at the king, he is that's not missing. And we ain't missing. Ain't nobody missing in here. Nobody. Y'all missing. You missing. What the heck are you doing? He left to join the best team. I will say this. Because Ticket is bringing up LeBron leaving and stacking the deck. My issue with LeBron, again, they're free agents. I, 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 I will repeat this over and over. You're free agent, do what you want, but pay the consequences of your actions, which is this. LeBron was a free agent? Absolutely. He went to Miami. Cool. What he did in the process of going to Miami, though, he took three teams. The Cavaliers, who were the number one seed the year before. Miami, which was a fringe playoff team. And Toronto, which was a fringe playoff team. And he eliminated two of the, his competitors in the playoffs. Those By are not real competitors. What? <laughs> No, no, not competitor. Toronto was not a competitor. They're not a competitor. Chris, ba- hold on. With Chris Bosh being the best player on that team, I, I said fringe playoff team. You now eliminate them from the conversation. They were eliminate. not. They were hold on. He leaves Cleveland. Family. He leaves Cleveland. He's the best player in the world. He eliminates Cleveland. So what? I, all I'm saying is, you take two of the best players off two teams, and you all go to one with a third one. It does cheat the system a little bit. I, I get it. They are all free agents. Wade, yeah. people forget, Wade, Bosch, and LeBron were all free agents. They're free to do whatever they want to do. But when you do take the three best players and put them on one team, it does kind of mess up the system well, for everybody but, else. Go ahead, Lowe. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Lowe. Go ahead, Lowe. Well, Lo, address this and then address the original question that Ticket asked, where would KD be without stacking the deck? All right, the first Toronto was not a <laughs> Toronto was not a real com- competitor. Neither was neither really was Miami because Miami. Say it again. They weren't they weren't a friend. They didn't, the the two, they didn't make the playoffs. They didn't make the playoffs the two years before he went there. So they they they, they weren't 
They were not. They were not. A, they were not a competitor at all. And Wade was getting bounced out in the first round. Those no, teams no, no. were not legitimate t- um, contenders at all. If he had joined, I guess Dwight Howard. I guess you'd be right. I guess, but like he didn't. He didn't do that. So that's point A. Point B. Bro, like the concept of like star caliber players or all time caliber players being on the same team with one another has always existed. The, it was interesting to me is that y'all don't a- ask these same questions about them. Because we saw the players doing it. it for no, the most Curry, part, it Curry, Curry, Curry forced his way out of Milwaukee. He yes, did it. He did. He did. He did. Yes, he did. Why did he force his way out of Milwaukee? They were bad. No, it's not because they were bad. It's because he had converted to Muslim uh, to Islam. No, and that wasn't it. Him in Milwaukee, and he felt was, this is his words. His words. He felt he would be more accepted in L.A. So please and, don't say it was because the team. And, and that's that. a, so so the, so the fact that the Milwaukee Bucks were at the bottom of the Eastern Conference at that time because Oscar Robinson was over and Oscar Robinson was done and the Milwaukee Bucks were at the bottom not. of the Eastern. So that didn't have I'm anything sorry, to do even, with it. Even 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 hey, if you want to even even if you want to even, 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 even say it still doesn't defeat it still doesn't defeat the fact that they didn't do anything until Magic Johnson came there. Not a single thing. Fair. Well, that's not true. That's well, not true. They, well, I mean, but they, 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 were the Cop- they were in the Western Conference. They were in the Western Conference Championship. They, they, won, they, they won the they, playoffs and stuff like that. Yeah, but they, they were in the Western Conference. They, they didn't win it. Magic was the difference. No they question they about that. Magic was the difference. Johnson got right. there. However, how did so they get, so get green? So the arguments in which y'all are making about like they, they need the, this player, that player, all time great player. Everybody needs all time great players. Yes, this idea do. that LeBron should have been able to do it in Miami, I mean, in Cleveland with Mo Williams is ridiculous. That no, makes Delonte no sense. Suggesting that though, no. Well, all I'm saying is when you take and I, the fact that you say that they weren't I, the Raptors weren't a fringe playoff team. They were the ninth team, one game out of the playoffs. The Miami Heat were the fifth seed. That so doesn't make them a threat, Tom. That well, doesn't not, not to a number one seed, Tom. Not to a number one seed. I'm not saying they're a threat. What I'm saying is when you're the best player on the number one seed and you go and join a team that was the fifth seed and and you take the best player off a team that was the ninth seed missing the playoffs by one game, you now eliminate two teams out of the playoffs. That's all I'm saying. Which is fair. That is fair. That is fair. And I've said, I don't care. Free agents, go be free. Go with I've said it. You know I've said that. But to to pretend like that doesn't shift the power balance in the conference, of course it does. Of course it does. But 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 by that, but by the logic, and I understand what you're saying. But to, again, two uh, more things. A part of the reason why players didn't leave at the time is just simply because free agency, the concept of free agency didn't exist. Right, free agency. As soon as soon as they implemented free agency in the mid nineties, Shaq left, Alonzo Mourning left, Tim Hardaway left. Like every C Webb got his way out of it. Everybody was moving. So the concept that players would not have moved doesn't really make any sense either. Well, Clyde, Drexler, Clyde Drexler was complaining before the mid-90s. He wanted out. Hakeem Olajuwon complained as well in, in Houston. So players were complaining. It's just that they couldn't sure. actually move. So well, the idea... Moses Malone left Houston. I was just getting yeah, ready and, to and, say and, that. And, and Moses Malone, Malone left. It was an MVP, joined another MVP candidate and actually MVP recipient and joined a team that just got out the finals in the, in the, in the Philadelphia 76ers. And then they went on such a run that was so dominant that he predicted that they would basically sweep the entire playoffs so like the idea that players don't join other players and do it, it just didn't happen as much because the rules are set in place but as soon as they change the rules players are moving around just like that like well, literally just right. like that here's the thing though load i don't think that the rules were changed the rules were always in place free agency was always free agency once your contract was up you got to play wherever you wanted to play so i don't think that the rules it well, wasn't, well let, me, uh, let me say that back they, 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 like they, they, they in the mid 90s they just didn't they removed the concept of signing these 10 year long deals right that you had no yeah that that's fair but Shaq the and they also removed restricted free agents from from the um from after rookie contracts because Shaq, Alonzo Mourning, and then Tim Hardaway, yeah. all, all of them, and they could have had him back. They could have had Shaq back if he was restricted and Alonzo Mourning in them. But they wanted as much money as they possibly could. That's why. That's also why Jordan was able to sign an absurd amount of money in ninety yeah, seven, ninety eight, yeah. because because they were able to change the contract structure in that middle. But when they got the opportunity to do so, they left. That's the reason why I don't like the concept of like. Oh no, they never would have done it. No, they, they would have done yeah, it because yeah, as soon as they got they it, absolutely would have done it. it. And I've yeah, said it a million it. times: free, free agent means free. Go to where you want. If and I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, did Charles Barkley not ask out of Philadelphia after every, the main two? They, they he all, absolutely asked several out. Players, Moses several Malone, players. and let's make sure we remember too that Moses Malone not only did he sign with the Philadelphia 76ers, who were in the NBA Finals the year before, he was a league MVP. 
So it wasn't like he was just a good player. He was a league MVP when he jumped on that. In Philadelphia, he right? jumped on the Philadelphia 76ers team. So I guess that that's cowardly, even though two years before that, Houston was in the NBA Finals with him on that team. Yes. And then the next year. Yeah. And then, and then wait, wait. And then, and then not only that, the year after that, Philly had made the Finals two out of the last three years with Dr. J winning the in, uh, Finals MVP, not Finals MVP, and winning the league MVP as well. They basically had – Two of the last three, or if not three, of the last three, because Moses had won it twice in like two, two, and three. He did. Years. He did. They, not they, not had, they, they had all the MVPs on their roster in the last three in the three year span. They had Bobby Jones. They had, they had. They had. A, this had a, a, been going a, on. A crazy yeah. team, it's and that was at a time on. when it wasn't even as much leeway as it is right now. So the argument that I just don't understand the argument, but the answer to his question: What would Kevin Durant be? Vince Carter is such a low bar that it that it's pretty absurd. Vince Carter wasn't even making it to the conference finals. And to say that like Kevin Durant didn't overcome anybody in 20 in 20 at 2012 run, he overcame the defending champions in the um um in the Dallas Mavericks. He beat Kobe Bryant in the second round, and then he beat um the, the league's best um team with record wise in the San Antonio Spurs. To say that he never overcame anybody. Is definitely a bit of a stretch. Like, and they were down. Stretch. They were down two zero in that series too. By the way, that Oklahoma City team. They were down two zero and then came back and won the next four games in that series. So to say that he never overcame anything is crazy. That that twenty twelve run alone puts him in the elk in which to say he never overcame anything. But we had the same conversation we had last time where I'm like, what's the difference between him and Barkley? If the argument is one game, then what are we even saying? And before a lot of these other moves have been made and throughout NBA history of people winning, I had Barkley in my top fifteen, top twenty. So having Kevin Durant there, even without Golden State, is a very reasonable thing to say. So, add all of that up. Add that to the fact that Kevin Durant. I mean, his team was in the Western Conference Finals three times in five years. Three, right? Times. And not only were they in the Conference Finals three times in five years, the Oklahoma City Thunder were an expansion team. They were trash. So they get to Oklahoma City, and now they build that unit primarily around they were KD. An expansion team? They were an expansion team, Tony. They got Kevin Durant with the number Phoenix, please, and they became the Oklahoma City Thunder. They were an expansion team. Oh, so, I mean, I, I, you just saying they were really bad? Yeah, they, were really they were bad, bad but they, they were bad. Expansion. That's my point. My they point is that bad. they were a bad team. You get yeah. Kevin Durant with the number two pick. You get Russell Westbrook with the number four pick. You get James Harden with the number four pick. They're basically building that unit. Yeah. Seattle, around- dra- Seattle drafted KD. Oklahoma City got gifted KD. Come on, that's not an expansion team. No, no, I, 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 I think you were just saying they were straight bad. They were, they were bad team. <laughs> and with, and, and with all of that being said, Kevin Durant was the best player on a championship contender. That Oklahoma City team was not a good team. That Oklahoma City team was not an okay team. They were a championship contender. And in the process of them being a championship contender, there was a four year stretch where we had those dudes as the we had those dudes as a, as a legit contender to win the NBA championship. So he stayed there for eight seasons. And in the eight seasons he stood there, and in the eight seasons he was there, now don't get me wrong, I still stand on the logic that if they come, if he comes back to Oklahoma, if he comes back to Oklahoma City in the 16, 17 season, I don't know if the Warriors beat them. I really don't. And I always felt like with Kevin Durant going to the Warriors, he threw a monkey wrench in a bunch of legacies. He threw a monkey wrench in the NBA. No doubt, no doubt about that. That he did what that. I always go but to- would he still? No, we took Vince Carter was never at any point do I remember never. him being a top five player. I never, man, I never felt like that. Right Vince you Carter, got, had- you got lucky, my people. You, my, my people probably got crazy because of the stuff you were saying and jumped up and knocked the socket out the wall. So you, you got lucky because all, all that stuff you talking is cap. You getting around the main issue, dog. The main issue what? is is that these dudes did not get it done, bro. Bro, we seen it with LeBron James in 07 in the finals. Everybody say, oh, he was overmatched. We seen it in 2011 in the finals. LeBron James, we seen it with KD in the playoffs. KD, game five, game six, game seven. When are we going to start holding them dudes accountable for not? Because I'm going to tell you something. And Fluent, know this. When Giannis Antetokounmpo got swept in the playoffs, oh, excuse me, when he got beat by Miami in five, and when he got walked down by Kawhi, they killed Giannis for that. Everybody destroyed Giannis and talked about what he was. I mean, they killed LeBron in 2011. No, 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 no. You're not going to do this. They did kill LeBron in 2011. KD and LeBron. No, you're not hearing me. They should. In the playoffs, when he lost to Miami in five, even though he had the ankle injury, came back, scored 18 in the first quarter before he got hurt again in that last game and had to go. And he got walked down by Kawhi, and they was up 2-0 against Toronto and lost that series. The whole mm-hmm. media, everybody killed Giannis. They held him, and they said he wasn't good enough to be the lead guy. He needed to go form a super team to win. He didn't listen to that. But KD and LeBron James, 
when they hit adversity, when them dudes hit adversity, they ran and y'all make all the excuses. That's cap. That's cap. No, that, that's not true. Right. That's not true. Ticket. So ticket. Let me ask you. So ticket. Wait a minute. Real quick. Wait a minute. 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 Ticket. You gotta let them respond. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Ticket. I'm, I got one question for you. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Chill. Chill. Before you make twenty minutes to answer, I just got thirty seconds. So here's the thing. Hold up. Before you get into this, we got almost. 1200 viewers in here, you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Bro, let me cook this. Bro, they will, they will okay, you gonna get no chance, star. Nikki. We got, like. we got two hours on here. Relax. Like this. So, so the thing that you know, Lo had said he has KD in his top 20 or top 15 or whatever. And what I keep bringing back this point, and this is why the Warriors that those years in the Warriors where he won his two chips is so important because you guys are looking at it and chill, you'll know this because you're of my age group, low, maybe not. In 20, 30 okay. years from now, when we talk about KD, if he doesn't have those rings, we talk about him so differently. Like we talk about, like I said, George Gervin, Dominique Wilkins, like uh, Elgin Baylor. But I, put, would, I, I just, be, I just said, I just said, I have, I have Barkley in the same window. Player. I have you Barkley in the same might window. Be the if you have Barkley there, but we're gonna look at KD and say, here's a scorer who couldn't get it done. Him going to Golden State changed the way we look at KD. But I'm saying for the next, no, maybe not for you, for the masses. I just said I put Bar Barkley and Malone in the same window of Kevin Durant. Okay. You're in the same window. You know that's you know that's not common though. Wait, I mean, you know, I, 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 even. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Lo. Go ahead. I'm just, sorry, just, Lo. Okay. Even, even, even before all this, I, I, mean, I was even giving heavy pushback, and we'll be, become more familiar with each other as time progresses. I put I had heavy pushback at the concept that people were trying to put Durant over Curry because that didn't make any sense to me. So I'm, I'm not to the point where I think that Durant is like the tenth or eleventh greatest player of all time. He's knocking on like I don't think he's at that point. I don't. I think, think there's other either. players before that. But to like to say that he's like between fifteen and twenty. I think even even without the championships, he would have been between fifteen and twenty. Man, that's he just cap. continued his chance. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hold on, hold on. I don't think. I just think Dominique Wilkins. Dominique Wilkins doesn't have an MVP. Dominique Wilkins no, didn't get the second not. round. Come on, Dominique Wilkins not the same. Why no, doesn't Dominique? Why doesn't Dominique have an MVP? Dominique Wilkins was playing in an era with better when he had more dominant players that's in this era. Dominique Wilkins was playing in the Larry Bird era, the Isaiah era, the Michael Jordan era. What are we talking about? Look at the era he was playing again. This, this era is an era full of dudes who don't want to stand. Yo, these dudes don't stand on nothing. Hey, sit, hold on, hold on. 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 It's actually not even about the players. Why didn't Do why doesn't Dominique have an MVP? It's because in those days, one, most of the MVPs went to big men. Two, almost every what? MVP. Went, hold on. That's a fact. Every, that is a fact, Lo. Fact, that is a fact. Every MVP was a two-way player. A guy like KD because he primarily is only on the offensive side of the ball, probably doesn't win an MVP because they will they look do. at his lack of defense. And I'm not saying he's a bad defender, but they're, they're, he's not a dominant defender. And be like, ah, I don't think he gets the MVP. That's that's the difference between him and Dominique. I'm Dominique doesn't got enough love. He was left off the top 50 list. Come Thanks. on. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, yo, no, 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 um, Moses, Moses Malone won it. Eighty three. Moses, Moses won it. And eighty four. Bird won it. And eighty five. Bird is a big Bird, six nine. I'm just. I'm. I'm. Larry Bird. Every bit of six ten. If you. If you. If you can count Larry Bird. If you count Larry Bird a, a big fine. If that's plays in the front court. So, so, Bird, but, so but most of these. Most of the. Most of the players who won in the eighties. It was Dr. J. Bird and, and Magic. That's who majority won of all in the eighties. Moses Dr. won two in the eighties, and right. the rest of them was Bird. Um. Dr. J and Magic, essentially. So, yes, is it true? And 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 uh, Magic was definitely primary offensively than he was on the defensive. He's primary Correct. offense. So, so again, the argument that he was doing, no, he just wasn't as good as them. Like that's 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 a simple put. Kevin Durant has to win MV has, had to win an MVP over LeBron James. What do you mean he wasn't as good as what them? He's not. He's not. Next, look at the series. His best player was Mookie Blaylock. What are you talking about? Even he if playing against. Best, he, 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 hold on, if, hold on, he, hold on, hold on. Because I'm about to eat. Are you real? No, man? you ain't. No, you're not. He was this playing is so against. Cold. Hold on. He don't know basketball. Oh, he was playing so against. He was playing against the Boston Celtics. They were stacked. 
He was okay. playing against the Detroit Pistons. Right. He was right. playing against the Chicago Bulls. They had uh-huh. joined the Pistons. Those were the teams he was losing to. Mm-hmm. Look it up. His Don't second best about- player was who? Mookie Blaylock. Right. Cut the right. And you know, because it's and because it's and because Don't tell me that. When he was taking it, he wasn't getting swept. Go look at the series. Uh- Pull it right, up. Talk, talk to us, chill. Talk and, to and, us. And, and, because, and, and because he wasn't getting swept, that doesn't mean he wasn't. No, the best was going... Talk to us, chill. No, talk and, to us. Talk and to because us. and because he wasn't getting swept does not mean that he was the best player. Thank you. He was never better than Larry Bird at any point. Thank at you. At any, at any, okay. Because Low, this is what you're doing. Low, you talk not Low. I'm sorry. You, I'm not talking about you, Low. Yeah. Ticket, what you're doing is you're talking about two different things. You're talking about teams and you're talking about players. At no point was Dominique Wilkins ever better than Larry Bird. Okay, so at no point, Larry, I'm not done. Yeah. Was Kevin Durant? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I got you, chill. I got you, chill. If you pull Larry- Yo, I got you, chill. Go ahead, chill. Tickets, at, you got to let them get it off. They, they no, let you at, get it off. You got to let, let them get it, get it off. off. You always cut me off, bro. I'm going to leave if you ain't going to let me get mine off, too. Because you Ticket. cut me off, but you never cut him off when he kept it. All right. Come on, bro. All right. Go ahead, Let's chill. Go ahead, chill. All I'm saying is, if you put Larry Bird with Mookie Blaylock and put Dom with all them dudes Bird was playing, who be winning the chips? That's not the same and thing. And down. That's not that's even not the same not thing. That's not the same thing. Number one, that's not. First of all, you're turning this into something completely different. Thank that's, you. that's That's the Thank first you. thing you're doing. You're turning this into something completely different. Putting, putting Dominique Wilkins on the Boston Celtics. Put Dominique Wilkins on the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, he wasn't on there. And at no point was Dominique Wilkins during that time better than Doc. At no point was he ever better than Bird. At no point was he ever better than Moses Malone. At no point was he ever better than any of those guys. At no he point was he ever better. At never, I didn't say he wasn't. Just like Kevin Durant was on the level of LeBron James. Just like Kevin Durant was on the level of James Harden. Just like Kevin Durant was on the level of Steph Curry. He was on the level of all of these guys. But at no point can I ever say, can I ever say that Dominique Wilkins, as big a Dominique Wilkins fan as I am, that he was better than Bird. At no point can I say he was ever better than Jabal. I can never say that. Was. I never said he that's was. That's exactly All what right, you're so telling hey, us. Hey, no, we, 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 hey, we, hey now we got to leave this argument enough. in the past. We got to move on. We, 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 we on time constraints. We always got to move on when I'm ready to cook these We on time constraints. Ticket, you be cooking them all show. You ain't cooking them all show. You ain't cooking them all That is wrong, bro. All right, This man, This man handed out extra credit for dudes who don't deserve it, bro. Listen, the bottom line is this. This dude... Dominique Wilkins was taking them teams almost a full series, and they had stacked teams he was playing against. So for him to make it seem like Dominique wasn't right there with them dudes, I never cool. said he wasn't. Nobody I never didn't say, he say that. I though. never said he wasn't. Nobody didn't okay, say so that. what I'm saying, so time out. But you said he wasn't in the, in that echelon with them dudes all no, the time. I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay, no, okay I didn't. so what you got, Dominique? Then we talk. We talk about for an MVP caliber. We said why is it? Why is it, why is it that in Magic 80s, and Bird that and all these other players were winning MVPs? Just, they were better they, players. Ticket. There has to be a ticket. There has to be a. So what's the separator when we are talking about better teams? I was winning. So that's the separator. They was great players on better okay. teams. I was winning. If Dominique Wilkins was on that team and they won that many games that the Celtics them dudes won, he would have won MVPs too. Don't so if so, so so if that's true, so if that's true, so if that's true, ticket. So do if we tell Dominique, Dominique, you don't have to stay in Atlanta. You could go get on another crew. You think he'd stay in Atlanta, bro? I, that's a yes or no question, and it does not involve a answer, no, no, sir. No, that's no, a no, yes or no, no question. No, hold on, no, because them dudes' mindset wasn't like that. Because look. Reggie Miller could have oh, left all them times he was it. failing. What'd he do? Mm. Resign. Dominique Wilkins mm. could have left all them years he was failing. He resigned. So he no, did. Knowing what he know today, if we asked him today, I'm pretty sure that Dominique they Wilkins would not have stayed in the Atlanta. With team, right? they and yes, and, 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 agent, and LeBron Dom, James did not sign an eight year deal with the Cleveland Cavaliers when he got on the when he got when he got on Cleveland. They were signing ten plus year deals back then, though. So it's like by the time you're by the end of your ten year deal, you were at the end of your career. Okay, Ron. Yep. Okay, yep. I ain't gonna scream. Let, let me make this simple for them, right? Here's what I'm saying, Ron. Kevin, LeBron James, game four, NBA Finals, 2007. One point game, he goes 10 of 30 from the field. But they say, oh, he was overmatched, right? Lost by one point at home. LeBron James, game three, 2007 against the Spurs. Tim Duncan and them playing like garbage at home in the queue. At home, they lose by three. LeBron James shoots 30 some percent from the field. Whose fault is that that these dudes is losing, but they giving all these dudes all this all time praise? Let Listen, me ask you a all question. I'm saying to chill, all I'm saying to my boy Chill, all I'm saying to my boy Chill is this, bro. The dudes who really was grinding and putting in the work 
Mm -hmm. We got to elevate them more than the Fact. dude who, who was taking advantage of the system, bro. Fact. Because it's not right that we down in these dudes who was fighting, who was going through the ground like AI, but we ain't, but, but everybody else, we praising these other dudes who got to pick their team, stack the deck, lose six NBA finals. No, that's a bet. I keep saying low. I'm sorry. I keep saying low. I keep, I keep saying low, but low I'm ticket. sorry. Ticket. I, I, I keep saying low, but. When you bring up 2007, why are we leaving out the fact that he did stay there for three more seasons after that? It wasn't like he left after they lost in the finals. Like, I, right, I'm going to go get on a bomb squad. No, he did not do that. He was there for three more seasons, and he had to deal with what that organization was putting around him in order for him to win. Now, according to Ticket, if we let Ticket tell us, yo, you don't ever, you don't ever have an opportunity. If you have an opportunity to get a better job, nope, stay right where you at. If you have an opportunity to upgrade yourself, nope, stay right where you are and stay in that bad situation. Stay right there and never move. And that's going to be more, you're going to get more respect if you do it, as opposed to when you get an opportunity to upgrade yourself, you take it. All right, y'all. <laughs> it's, it's no ticket to respond to that. So we're going to keep it pushing to this juicy topic that I've been trying to get into. <laughs> yeah, like, like we, we on something right yeah, now? We 40 minutes I, just trying but, to get to the first topic. Hey, we on something right now, but I really got something for you guys. But right. before I do that, let me shout out the 1,400 viewers that are in here watching you guys. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Now, <laughs> Kevin Durant oh, yeah. has some things to say. Uh, <laughs> man, KD make it so hard to root for him. He does. He does, Low. Yes, he does. What are we, what are we doing right now? When I cook these dudes, Low, you put yeah, me on mute when I cook these clowns. When I cook these clowns, you put me on mute. All right, so uh, NBA 2K tweeted KD and said he's a 96 in 2K23. And then he he asked everybody, do you agree or not? KD replied to, to 2K and said, hey, Ronnie 2K, I'm going to need an explanation on why I'm not a 99. This has become laughable. He's but lucky he's not an 89. He's he's he. I'm assuming he's trolling, but he's certainly not a 99. <laughs> you, can, you can do that. You can do a better job with the, with the me, though. I don't play video games, so I don't know what 2K no, ratings are. Okay, so I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, going to break it down to you. That. My son uh, plays 2K, like, and I'll just okay, say yeah, this. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to break it down to you. Giannis is ranked the highest in the game at right. 90, 97. As he should be. At 97. Not mm -hmm. even 99, at 97. Le and then there's five more people that are 96. Right. You got LeBron. You got, um, I'm pretty sure. No, Luca's a 95. You got LeBron. You got Steph, KD, Joel, and, and Joker. Jokic, the mm -hmm. Joker. They're all 96s. KD is essentially saying that he should be a 99 ahead of everybody else. So I'll now, be now better than him. Who's the tell me the list again? Who's rated it's higher than him? Giannis, Giannis, Jokic, and um James. And James, LeBron James. And they're all uh, better. But, than it's, him. but it's, it's it's Jokic and uh he's he's ranked the same as as LeBron, Jokic, Embiid, and he's Steph. very lucky. He should ba say thank you. Ba I'm gonna say ba basically, especially because the way they they, they rating it recently, to be a 99 in that game, like you literally had to be. Like you had to be peak level because even as great as Giannis is right now, he's not as good as like peak Jordan or peak um, Bird or peak um, LeBron. Like that's the, that's the only way that you would get, be a ninety nine. There's nobody. They very rarely even hand out a ninety nine. What's so the that's highest the, rating that you can get, Low? It's ninety nine. Okay, so ninety nine is the highest rating. That's, that you that's what I'm saying. You would have to be like right the great. You, you know what I'm saying? Like in Kevin Durant knows right. that. I think he's just trolling. But to even like waste time on Twitter is like, come on, what are we doing? Right now? Like, come on. He's lucky to be a 96 at this point in his game. Injuries. He doesn't play full seasons. He's not the same player he used to be. He's on the decline and don't play defense. That goes into your 2K rating. He's very lucky. He should say thank you. I'm out on I'm 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 out on Brooklyn. Just so y'all know, so we can make sure we, I'm out on Brooklyn. I was any, never any, on them. Any, anything, any kind of any kind of logic that you guys try to run across me, I'm out on Brooklyn. So I was I'm, never I was never good. in on Brooklyn. I'm out. I'm out, Brooklyn. out on Brooklyn. They they trying to put um um Ben Simmons at the five. I was like, all right, yeah, y'all run out, y'all run out of options real quick. So I'm good on that. <laughs> I'm out on Brooklyn. I'm good on that boy. And I'm out on I'm, I'm out on Brooklyn simply because I've seen everything that I need to see with this team. The one common denominator is both Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. When Michael Jordan got Scottie Pippen, it took them four years to win it. Jordan was getting better. Scottie was getting better. 
when Shaq got Kobe Bryant, it took them four years to win it. Shaq was getting better. Kobe was getting better. And in the process of that, they were improving both of those teams. They improved the Bulls. They improved the Los Angeles Lakers. We're going into year four with Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is going into year 16. I'm not getting any more than what I've already gotten from him. That's it. And the same thing with Kyrie Irving. I don't think that I'm getting any more than I've already got from him. In the 20 season, and then in the 1920 season, Kyrie Irving played 20 games. Kevin Durant was rehabbing his was rehabbing his Achilles. In the 2021 season, Kevin Durant missed half the season because of a hamstring. Kyrie Irving got hurt in the playoffs. Last year, he had a Kevin Durant had an MCL sprain, and Kyrie Irving missed because of COVID. What evidence can you give me to suggest that this season is gonna be different than it was the last three seasons? I'm out on Brooklyn. I'm out. Nothing. Literally nothing. And I do mean nothing. What in the world? We we lost the host. We need the host. We lost the host. (laughs) All right, the next topic. (laughs) I mean, I'm out. Listen. All right, chat. Chat, pick the next topic. <laughs> I, look, I'm out on them too. I, I mean, listen, I agree with y'all. That's why I'd be mad when y'all don't be cooking these dudes, man. Listen, man, the dudes cheating the system, bro. We praising dudes for cheating the system, man, to win. Come on, bro. When do we start doing that? When do we tell our kids it's okay to go to school, cheat on the t- test, get an A, have everybody raise our hand like we did something special, but guess what? We go home still stupid. Because you didn't really study. You didn't really pass the test. KD never really passed the test. If you look at his whole career, when has he ever overcame adversity except when he played with the Warriors? Ever. He's never. His whole career, this man been in the league 16 years. He played with the Warriors for three. But, but we praise, we, we put down and we minimize these other dudes that was really going through wars trying to be great. Like Ticket. Dominique Wilkins and these guys, bro. Here's the thing, though, so Ticket. I, I think we took talking- them I think we here's the thing, though, Ticket. I think we're talking about two different things because I'm I, I'm on record saying what KD did was sucker. That was some that, that was a sucker move what he did when he went to Golden State. I'm on Tony and I have had this conversation. I'm on record saying that absolutely. But with that being said, with KD being in Golden not Golden State, I'm sorry for him being in Oklahoma City for as long as he was in Oklahoma City, he did. They built that thing around him, and he did make them championship contenders. Now with that. All, with that, with that also being said, now with that also being said, when James went to Miami, just so you know, Chris Bosh was a throw-in. Chris Bosh wasn't a guy that James I, asked for. That's Pat my Rowley, point. He Pat, tried to annihilate Pat, the league and get and get Carmelo. Pat, Pat Rowley was the one who said, yo, I could get Chris Bosh. That was I had nothing to do with James. James went there to play with Dwayne Wade, and that was it. And he Carmelo found Anthony, out, no, he found, he he found out, we, we all knew, that, no, we all, yes. um, no, 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 he wasn't trying to be the banana boat, he wasn't trying to be the banana boat, he wanted to be in New York, 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 you know this, and this is why I be telling y'all these dudes be captain, no, he wanted to be in New York, he was supposed to be LeBron, D. Wade, and Carmelo, no, Carmelo did not sign his contract, I thought it was, I thought it was Wade, LeBron, and someone else in Chicago, Come on, man. That was he the took, original look, one. Carmelo took the long deal in Denver. When LeBron told them dudes to take that short deal, that three-year deal, Melo took the money. He took the five-year deal and stayed in Denver. That's why he didn't go over there. So stop capping, uh, chill. Mark, and he should have taken that money. I'm not. Whoa, 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 whoa. That, 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 first, of all, first of all, that's not a lie, Ticket. That is Google not a lie. When, that, no, I don't need to Google it. That's not a lie. When he, was, when he became a free agent in 2010, he could have signed anywhere he wanted to. Anywhere he wanted to. But he didn't want to leave Denver holding the bag and he said that I want to play in I want to play in New York because he could have very well went to Miami for less money but instead he signed with the New York Knicks for more money and no, no, then he took, no he took the extension first in Denver he, that was the extension first he took in Denver and then he got traded over there after that remember he took the extension in Denver because remember he thought excuse me he took the five year deal in Denver when LeBron told him to take the three year deal so his they could contract all, was, his con- took the year his, and his contract in two, and after the 2009-2010 season, Carmelo Anthony's contract was up. He was a free agent. But he signed with Denver and got, traded to, and signed, and got traded to the New York Knicks. It was a sign and trade. That's how that thing worked out. And he wanted to go right. to New York because right. he wanted to be in New York. He did not want to be in Miami. If he wanted to be in Miami, they could have worked that thing out. I'm not going to fight that part. They could have worked it out if he was going to be in Miami. Now, if you want to talk about Chris, once again, Chris Bosh, was a situation. Chris Boss was a situation where, again, 
We're talking about a dude who Pat Riley said, yo, we could get him. That had nothing to do with James. Ew, James, had no, James, had no, LeBron, James had nothing to do with that. Off, no, I don't. Like, hey, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying James, 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 James didn't have to sign off on Chris Bosh? Thank you. Am, am I saying that he did not have to? Yeah. And that he had to sign off on Chris Bosh? Uh-huh. He was going to Miami anyway if Chris Bosh showed up or not. Boy, don't make it sound like – don't no, make it I sound – I didn't ask whether he was going to Miami. Braun, of I'm, course he's going to say yes. Okay. Of course he's going to say – but, whoa, t- t- hold on, Tone. Don't make it sound like he orchestrated that, like, yo, go get him. No, that's you telling me that you're going to do something. I'm here getting this, and that's you telling me I'm going to do this extra thing for you. I'm not going to say no to that. So you're no, saying – No, I'm not going to say no to that. You're saying everything boss, in his boss, career after he left Cleveland the first time, man. Cut the cap, man. He said he had a conversation with Braun prior to yeah. going. Yeah. Like years they, before. All three of them did. Yeah. Boss said that. I don't, and to me, it don't really matter. All, all this about how they got to it. If it's a team full of players, star collar players on the roster, mm-hmm. bro, it's, it, to me, that's not, there's no difference in that between what they were doing with the Lakers team in the 80s and the Celtics no. team in the 80s. Wait, wait, yes, it, yes it's, the it's the same thing, Ticket. It's the same thing. It's the all the it it all general Go ahead. Can go ahead, go go ahead Ticket. I'm all ears to hear this. Go ahead. Talk to us, and then we got to move on. It's different because the mentality of the players. Back then, the ownership always going to try to make their team better. Mm-hmm. But the mentality of the players, they wasn't trying – I'm trying to be – I'm trying to prove that I'm better than all you. Michael Jeffrey Jordan, was a he was a man possessed. He wanted to prove he was better than Isaiah, prove he was better than Larry, prove he was better than, than Magic Johnson, prove that he was better than Charles Barkley, prove he was better than Reggie Miller. Mm-hmm. He wasn't going to go team up with those guys. He no. wanted to prove he was better than all of them, and that's a fact. Kobe Bean Bryant, he got tired of everybody saying, oh, it's all about Shaq. So what did he do? He got away from Shaq just to prove his own greatness. So you got dudes like that. And then you got dudes who go team up with the best players in the world because their mentality is weak, that they can't physically, even though you won 66 games, 61 games, you picked to win the chip, and you under your team underachieved in the playoffs. Now we're going to blame everybody else. We're going to blame the organization when the players on the court, and I've given you example after example, everybody can say whatever they want to say about cap, ticket cap. The truth is the truth. You can go pull it up the tape. Game four at home in the queue. LeBron playing against the Spurs as fluent. Tim Duncan had a poor series that series. The only dude that played well that series was Tony Parker for the Spurs. All LeBron James had to do was play normal basketball. The man went 10 for 30. Nobody holds him accountable for that. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You you have to. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. You're going to love it. 2011. 2011. When you picked your own team. Stack the deck. You said not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, not seven, because you knew that you guys had put together a team that was supposed to annihilate the NBA. He knew that. That's why he said it on the stage. Fluent. You know what I'm talking about? That, that, well, that's that's part and, of and why people happened. look at that so wrong, because they did. That was dumb. The whole and, decision. And, and, and then you the lost. Riley, and then, that, that, that was bad. And watch how bad. dirty these dudes was, Fluent. They teased Dirk Nowinski when they was up 2-1 in the series. You know what Dirk did? He did what a real G supposed to do. He held it down, man. Yeah, everybody, everybody, down. everybody criticized listen, LeBron for listen, that, listen. though. He walked right. them dudes down with everybody J.J. Crit- J. J. Barrett. The whole, the whole, the whole, I'm not, I'm not, not, yeah, I mean, not, I'm not, not the saying, whole series. Making, Go ahead, Low, I'm sorry. But everybody, he, everybody, he gets criticized for it. Not like I, I, even yeah. when people attempt to try to, like, skate that, if you pin down a LeBron fan and tell them about 2011, even they can't escape that reality. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's, that, like, that's, that's, a, that's a reality that everybody, There's no way. There's Everybody no way. accepts. I'm also I'm I'm looking at the that that game four. He shot he shot he shot five for ten in the fourth quarter. He was actually really great in the fourth quarter. Take that, he low. He shot low. He actually played great in the fourth quarter. Shot, low, 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 low. Fourth my my, my, not, my issue is this though. You he know he played great. He played great. Tickets trying to compare a time when tickets trying to compare a time when ownership and GMs kind of ran the player movement, yeah. which they did in the league, which they did. And now it's the players that control their movement more. So and now that's a problem. And it is a problem because here's the problem. Good or bad. I don't like it. Some people do. Players are so aware of their legacy and they know that if I don't win a ring, I'm going to be looked at poorly. And most of them, not all, because Damian Lillard's like, hey, I'm staying no matter what. But some are like, I need to put myself in a situation to win a ring because if I don't, my legacy is going to be ruined. And that's not a good thing. So maybe it's on us because we we knock players, not everybody, but most of us knock players who don't win rings. 
And so in the players back of their mind, like I have to win a ring or I'm going to be looked at like Charles Barkley, Carl Malone, John Stockton, where everybody knocks them. They forget how good, great these guys were most. I know low, you don't, but most knock these guys because they don't have a ring. And that's a bad thing too, because now we've created this situation where it's like, how can I get my ring? And then maybe I'll do what I want, but let me get my ring. Wait a minute, Charles. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. Here's the part with what make me so mad. But, and then you got dudes like KD and 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 a hundred million dollar man, the Mr. Role player himself, Draymond Green, that will talk smack to Charles Barkley, an all time great. Yeah, see that ball, like, bro, 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 bro. And them dudes was on stack teams. They, their whole career, like their whole career, they had stacked squads, and they talking all this mess about dudes who really was going through the grind, talking about oh you you ain't getting the same money as me. This that, and the third, bro. It's not cool. I, that's the only reason why I am the way I am, chill. Because I co- I represent the era you grew up in, the era Fluent grew up in. I represent all them dudes, the voiceless, the dudes like Allen Iverson who was going through the wars, who carried a team to the NBA Finals and got a game off a team nobody else could get a game off of. But they kill AI and say, oh, all he did was a game. What's so important? But what, what would you think AI would have been had he would have had a super team and had three all stars in a prime on the same team. He would have had chips too. His whole legacy would have been looked at different. But a I, lot of these dudes, man. I, let me so let me just let me, let me let me say this real quick just before you go, Joe. I think, but I think what what happens when we have these conversations is that I think y'all speak to. I think everybody is too consumed with these loud voices. Like everybody on this panel, it can speak intelligently intelligently enough and understand the context of players' careers to where I'm just not going to sit here and say Allen Iverson was like not a top 50 player of all time because he never won a ring. Like I, I understand the context of his career. I think the problem, however, though, is that I, I would argue that most players, most, not every single last one, because I think Dominique Wilkins is one of the very few unique situations where he genuinely just was never on a team that was a championship caliber roster. But most team, most players get in situations where championship is a very obtainable goal or at least making the finals. And so when you fail at that, at that, at that, um, and you fail at that mark, then we look at you as like, all right, even when you was on this team where you didn't have that much talent, when you got the opportunity or when they made the adjustments, you got the opportunity to win and you still did not cross the threshold of winning to the level in which we expected. That's when we had to look at you differently. Give me an example of that. AI was supposed to be Shaq and Kobe. He was supposed no, to be Kobe but, and Shaq. But, but, but then, but then, but then, but then, but then, but then, but but LeBron Dirk is a great example of where the threshold. That's one. That's one. But but, 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 hold on. But but you can't hold that against all them other dudes because they was no. But but no. But then, but then, AI went to a team with Melo and a team with Mark. No, but no, no, no. No, Mark is. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying. 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 Who's I'm not saying I'm not saying it has to be two. I'm not saying it has to be three superstars. What I'm saying is you want to see No, 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 no. But stop right there, Lo. But that's that's why you move in the goalpost. We I'm not talking no, about no, no team. Like, I'm not. No, no, listen, no, listen, no, stop, 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 stop. Listen, 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 so even 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 if I just put the bar of him on that team saying, "Hey, I need you to get to the conference finals, or I need you to get to the second round," but they couldn't even get out the first round. So that's that's the point where even when we put you in a better situation and you still can't achieve the level of success that we expect, then at that point there's a threshold that has to be met. Well, wait a minute though, Tone. When, when Tone and, 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 and Tone, when who you just playing? said. Tell who they Tone, was you... Jim Duncan, Tony Parker, Mono Ginobili, Kobe Bean Bryant. That's who they was playing in the first round. That's who AI know was playing in the first round in the West. They, Talk they about couldn't, who they was playing. They, 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 they couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't win. They couldn't win a game. They it couldn't win a eight. game off of Kobe. They couldn't win a game off of Kobe Bryant, and they couldn't. They only got one game off of Tim Duncan and Tony right, Parker. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But you got to hold on. So, but now let's go look at your boy in the East. Who was he playing? Cupcakes. No, he wasn't. Uh-uh. But I, but I, but wait, but I, but I, but I've already, 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 I've already said, who's said who's that it's not like LeBron. Ticket, ticket, hold up, talk to us, Lo. Hold up, hold up, hold up, Ticket. But I've, again, we, we, you, I think, I think we're just speaking about things in which, like, again, you're taking what somebody else may have said and you're implying to me. I've already acknowledged that LeBron's standard of what he should have done in the Eastern Conference should have been at bare minimum, conference finals or higher. So if LeBron got knocked out in the first round, that would have been completely unacceptable. But LeBron was able to meet that standard more or less, conference finals or higher. So, so again, why? His competition was weaker. Okay, let me ask no, you No, it wasn't weaker. And, and, 
and, and, and I'm glad. Okay, watch this. I'm a, I ain't gonna say nothing else after y'all say this. I'm gonna be quiet for five minutes. Well, LeBron James that went to ten finals, he played in the West his whole whole career. What team is he playing on? That the that, give, that, that, that's care. number one. That, that's number I one. I don't care. And he was playing for the San Antonio. Why don't we? Why don't why don't we why why don't we why don't we understand the logic that or why don't we give credit to the idea that just maybe just maybe he was just that good and those guys didn't want anything to do with him. No, I'd much sure. rather. I ain't gonna let you. No, he was it was weak. <laughs> no, it's I don't weak. think so. I, 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 if, it was, if, it, if, it, if that's true, Lo, if that's it's true, then I gotta and, and I gotta and I got a better shot of getting to the NBA Finals through the Eastern Conference. Why don't I go there then? Why is the West what the West was? Most, why of, most, is of, the so, player, most of those players were drafted there. That's, that's why they stayed there. Like like Harden was drafted there, Curry was right? drafted there, Durant right? was drafted there, Kawhi Tony was Parker. drafted there. Like they all they all drafted it. Tony Durant Parker, was drafted there. Tony all of those Parker, dudes. Coach, right? so they, they drafted. It. It's not as if like they you know what I'm saying like they were drafted there. Right. So it's not as if like they which call it. And, and I'm that, glad you why. And, and I'm glad you mentioned that because you just mentioned to me in the 80s these guys signed how many year contracts. They was they were signing right, so that wasn't going on at that time. So with that not going well, on, well, Kobe, well, Kobe, well, Kobe tried to go to the East. He tried to go to the East. Absolutely, it, yeah, absolutely, so, so, he did. So I mean, they, that, they they tried to. So, so with, and that, that didn't work out. Tony and why Parker, not? Tony Parker and them weren't going to leave San Antonio. They didn't make any sense for them to do that, right? Because he's Melo, 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 Melo did go to the East. And how'd that work for him? It was horrible. Absolutely, no, that's, okay. That's not true. Wow, that's he did. He went to the No, it was horrible. It was. Time out. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let no, you hold up. Minute. You hold up. Take it. Lie, what it, what it. The New York Knicks was trash before Melo went over there. No, but when Melo went over there, he went over there. He was supposed to go over there. He was supposed to go over there. Healthy Amar Stoudemire. We all know Amar Stoudemire was not the same. Hold on. Hey, look. Hold on. New York haven't been the same since Melo left. Melo was the last dude. They made it two days. Hold on. What do you say? What do you say? The East wasn't. Lesser than the West. I didn't say it wasn't lesser tone. Let's okay. Let, let, so let, you let, say let, it is okay. Okay. Let, I didn't say it wasn't lesser. What I my, my logic is maybe like ten or twelve why, why, fifteen all NBA why, players were in the West. So come yeah, on. Yeah. Why is it? Why is it ridiculous to think that those dudes were looking at him going, maybe I'll stay here because I have a you, I have a less difficult path. If I'm looking at the, the the logic that you're giving me about the Eastern Conference, if it was so bad, I got a better shot getting there in the East what, than I do who, in the West. Who, but who's, so who's if who's that's true, player, but who is the player that you think could have? Because again, Kevin Durant when and when LeBron went that ten year stretch, KD was on a KD was on a team that he got drafted. It was not like he couldn't leave until 2016. Westbrook couldn't leave until 2017. And he stayed in the West. I know. I, I, what I'm and saying. And he stayed in the West. I I, I, I get that. So but why didn't they come to the East if the East was they so weak? Leave. If, if the, why you keep saying that they couldn't leave? Kevin Durant's contract was up. How, how do you think he ended up? How do you think Kevin Durant ended up in the Warriors? Right. How do you think he ended? How do you think oh, Russell Westbrook ended? How do you think Russell Westbrook on, stayed there? But hold on, and, he went to the Warriors because that was a team that made it to the finals, right? Had won Seventy-three games, right. mm -hmm. and like, hey, they called him and right. said, hey, if you join us, we're right. guaranteed to be to to win. Right. So there's only one. So there's only one it's, team it's, in the Eastern Conference at that time, and that's the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's better, it's so better as opposed to me. So as opposed no, to me no, going, it was Miami. My, my, Miami, Miami was really the only real ran organization. So to go, to go to the East and say you're not saying I'm going to play LeBron. Why don't? Because it was weak. You're going to say, okay, what team can I build yeah, exactly. that's going to beat the Heat? Most teams, and, most, and, if, and if, they, teams, if a team didn't have the cap space to sign two or three stars, one team. Them. So there's no, one no, team no. in the Western Conference no, as opposed. Well, well, there's well, one team in the Eastern. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Lo. No, no. It, like there weren't that many well-ran teams in the East. Like Washington's not a well-ran team. Toronto just became a properly ran organization. Philly was literally in the middle of tanking. Okay. Philly, so Philly was in the middle of tanking. In 2011, Orlando, the Raptors were. Orlando yeah. was hor horrible. So New York was a poorly mm -hmm. ran organization. Mm -hmm. um, Indiana had Paul George in them, so mm -hmm. they, their cap was already locked right. up. Um, Boston had they were going back and forth with these draft picks and trying to figure right. out what they were going to do. Right. Brooklyn was was also poorly ran, but they tried to do something as well. They were bad. Mm -hmm. Chicago had money tied up between Rose, Dang, and all of them other players, and Rose right. got hurt, so they couldn't right. sign nobody. Mm -hmm. And Charlotte, Charlotte, and Detroit were just horrible organizations. They so. Were just, there's more properly grand organizations out west. So with that being said, okay, Kevin Durant's contract is up in 2016. If I'm not mistaken, the Toronto Raptors are in the Eastern Conference Championship in 2016. So if I put Kevin Durant on that unit with both Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan, what does no that money. look? They had no money. They were over the cap. They were over the cap. They couldn't do it. 
They they were they were over the cap and couldn't do it. And again, if you were going to pick the Raptors, I don't know if they were over the cap, but they, but they, they I don't think they had the enough cap. money for a match. They were over. The, they were over. Trust me, I was. I'm here. They were over the cap. So, so they go to Toronto. Hold on. But if I tell you come to Toronto, who was just in the Eastern Conference Finals, or go to Golden State, who was just in the finals and won 73 games with, with Steph and Clay and Dre, who are you picking? Kyle Lowry, DeRozan, or Steph and Clay and Dre? That's not the point, Tom. No, it's not. You know why? Because because basically, that's not the point. And the reason why that's not the point is because we're talking about the Eastern Conference being weak, and I got a better shot at getting to the finals, getting through one team, as opposed to getting through four or five teams. That's the point. Yo, no, yo, no, well, well, hold, they, hold, hold up, Low. Well, go right. ahead, Low, and I and I gotta, say, I gotta move but, it but on when, to when, another when, topic. When Katie went to the Warriors, though, they just made them so much better that they, they became the one team to beat in the West. They basically won the NBA. They, 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 that's basically one NBA. NBA. KD go, yeah. KD going to the Warriors yeah. is Shaq going to the 96, but, on, 95, 96. Yeah. But, but outside, yeah. outside, outside yeah. of that, outside of that three years, good comparison. Hold up, hold up. Let Low finish. Let Low finish. Let Low finish. to beat them. Yeah, fair, right, fair. but more, but more, but more or less. So that was like the, the concept. If I go to the Warriors, I'm I have a just as easy a chance. I go, but outside those three years, though, it's from 2000, from the year 2000 up until like really recently, like tw- for 2018, undeniably the Western, I mean the Eastern Conference was not only weaker, but just in general weak. It was a weak conference. It was just a weak, especially in the early 2000s. Without a doubt, with the narrative, it happens. It happens. It goes in cycles. If you go back through history, the West is better than the yeah. The, the West in the eighties, the West in the eighties, yeah, it, it, it happens. Yeah. Hey, but hey, but hold on. He didn't answer my question. My question to you, brother, my brother, uh, Chill was, and you too, Low. How many champion uh, finals will LeBron James have went to had he played in the West his whole career? And I don't care. I would, I would, I would say, I would say I, seven. I, I, he, I, I you think, think that went to seven finals. You honestly, you honestly, it depends on the team. Yeah, yeah exactly. The team he built. Ticket, are you are you sitting here telling us that LeBron James, who is the best player of the entire decade, if he moves to the Western Conference, and I don't know, he's on the Trailblazers with Lamarcus Aldridge oh, and okay. Damian Lillard. If he's on the Warriors, if he's on the Golden State Warriors, if he's on the Trailblazers with Damian Lillard and the Marcus Aldridge, no, he's not. No, 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 excuse me. No, no, you're asking you're asking me a question, you're asking me to answer it. If he's on the Portland Trailblazers with Damian Lillard and the Marcus Aldridge, if he's in uh San Antonio with Tony Parker, Ginobili, and Tim Duncan, are you telling me that them dudes ain't are you telling me in fact they in fact Oh, hold on, you had to switch one of them dudes out. He no, we ain't switching nobody oh, no. out. He, he just drafted said, on the team. You, you just and, you, team. And, and again, you just said if he was in the Western Conference, David Stern would have did the same thing that he did with the Clippers when Chris when Chris Paul tried to go to the Lakers. He would have put the kibosh on that. He would have been like, hell no, LeBron James ain't going to the damn Lakers. Hell no, he ain't going to the Spurs. Absolutely not. He would have put the kibosh on that. No way. First of no all, no way. Here's why. Hold on. Here's why I disagree with you. I'm listening. And I'm gonna tell you why. First of all, when he first came in the league, he was already vulnerable. So you putting him in that same situation on the Spurs don't guarantee that they win championship. First of all, the Spurs never won back to back. So you putting LeBron James and Young on that team doesn't mean that he's gonna win back to back because LeBron James wasn't ready for that moment all the way from there, all the way to 2011. You seen what happened when he was in the finals with a super team in 2011. Thank you, sir. This is easy. That is not the same. Hold on. You put LeBron on a team. On the Spurs? You put a LeBron. Hold no, on, let me, let, me let me finish. Oh, no, 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 let me finish. Young I always let you talk. You put okay. Young LeBron on a team with Tim Duncan, Cody <laughs> Parker, Manny Ginobili, and we are forgetting the greatest coach he ever would have had in Greg Popovich. That team's winning. Hey, that Bill team. Russell. That team's winning. <laughs> I mean, no, hey, no, ticket, no, ticket, no, ticket, no. they did it with Kawhi, so why is he crazy? Yeah, they it with just, LeBron. Just, so, 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 do this, Ron. I no, got no, no, a question. No, no, they did it with Kawhi. Real, real, real quick, Ron. Hold, hold on, ticket. I got a question. And, 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 hold, hold on, ticket. By the way, by the way, we got fifteen hundred people in here. Right. Make sure to like the video. And I got, I got, I got a question to you. I got a question, Ron. So that San Antonio team that was that that won the NBA championship in 2013, 2014, right? Take Kawhi Leonard off there and put 2003, 2004 James on that team. Are they winning the NBA championship? Did LeBron win a championship in They smoked the league. Did he win a championship they, in 20? Did he win they a championship in 2011? With and we Wade talk, Wade of you brought up, you brought up a young did LeBron. You can't. Did he do this it? is the goal hold on, hold on. This is no, the goal post. On. This on, is the no, 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 he didn't do it. He wasn't on that kind of team. This is why I'm saying this to you. Not on the same team. Not the same thing. First of all, 
from all Not the way from when he came in the league to 2011, he was a choke artist when he came down to the playoff to the finals. So we got to keep that in mind. He choked in 2011 on a super team that he was that he helped pick to win. So don't tell me you can put him with the Spurs. We've already been down On a team like the Spurs, though, on a team like the Spurs that stack with veterans, he might not have to. He might not have to finish games like that. He might not have to give him his own. 31 to make it to the final. It's a very different team. But but that's but but that, but you further proving the point. He, if he's on a team with the Spurs, that's uh, that's well better ran and, and more has better culture, more veterans, more tutelage for him any entering the league than he had in Cleveland. He's without a doubt a more refined player. I'll actually, I'll actually tell you this. I'll tell you this. Let me tell you this. Get, let, me, get, get, let me tell you this. The best thing that ever could have happened on, to LeBron James is if he went to the Spurs on. because his biggest downfall is that people let him be the system. And the second he's not playing or Bags. doesn't play well, the team stinks. But if he goes to a team where he has to be in a system, he's actually probably better. Like he in Miami. Play in system. That's like in point. Miami. He can't play he in be, system. He'll be Bill Russell. Like in Miami. LeBron James cannot play in a system. The system has to be LeBron James or it doesn't work. We, we, and how's that going for him, Ticket? Hold on, hold on, hold on, since hold on, since you said that, he's the system. How's that going for him? How's that worked out for him? He goes some more ether for y'all. He goes some more ether for y'all. Not as good as it could have. When is LeBron James When is LeBron James ever proven? Outside of when he played with AD, that he can play with multiple dudes uh, in a leading a big dude first that commands the ball every time in the post. LeBron James always has to be the dude that orchestrates the offense and runs the show. This is the reason why he's still scrambling now to try to find the right pieces to put around him. And they always say, This dude ain't right, this dude ain't right, that dude ain't right. Well, if he's the king, he the goat, he go James. Why he can't get it done with the but, pieces but that he, he has? But, he, but even even if he goes on the Spurs, by the time LeBron starts to get into his prime with the Spurs, Duncan is already declining, and he was handing the keys over to Parker. So he would have just handed it over to LeBron. And, and, okay, and, so and, like, and, it would have worked. It would have worked. And, 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 and LaMarcus Aldridge, too, ticket. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and LaMarcus Aldridge. These are the dudes that he's running with. Y'all trust LeBron James at that age with a declining Tim Duncan to get through the West? Yes. yes. Yeah, y'all dudes on something. He, did, he did it. With, they did it with. Hey, look, wait a minute. They did it with. Hey, 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 they went to the, just so you know, hey, in thirteen. In, in, with, in two thousand thirteen, if I'm not mistaken, in two thousand thirteen, when they went to the NBA Finals and lost in Game Seven, Kawhi Leonard was in year two. I'm not talking about. He was in the year five. He I'm was in year two. It was the next year ticket that you're talking about. No, I'm not. You know why? Because one year, one year, when LeBron was young, when LeBron was young, when LeBron was young not when he was older. You okay, so, no, so, okay. So, so just rewind. Okay, okay, I'm glad you mentioned that. Hold on, guess what? Guess what? Y'all saying that? Though. Watch this. Hey, hey, Ron, watch this. Hey, I'm coming through with a sledgehammer. Here we go. They talking all this stuff about Kawhi's first two years and he failed in the finals. LeBron didn't even make out playoffs in the in the East, and guess what? The team that made it over him had a losing record too. Well, that's not the Period. same thing. The reason why that's not well, the if same. He was, if he was in the Spurs, first of all, first of, first of all, first of all, first of all. Not only that, though, not, not only were they made the playoffs, first of all, when he was in Cleveland, who was the man in Cleveland? Remind me who the man was in Cleveland. We saw him when he got drafted? Yeah. Who was the man in Cleveland? It was Ricky Davis. It was, it was, it was Ricky Davis, Darius Miles, uh, 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 old, other old boy. Um, it's a Jonas was an all-star. Who was the man when Big James Z got on the roster? Big Z was an all-star that The year. next year, James no, was the man. No, year saying, two, no, hold it, hold it. James was the man hold on that roster. Kawhi Leonard was not the man on no, San Antonio in year two hold on, hold or chill, year man. three. You're chill, trying you're to make this out to be chill, something completely chill, chill, different. Chill, you chill, stay chill, moving chill, the goalpost ticket. I'm not. Chill, stay moving point, it. Chill. My point to you is this. If, okay, let's say, a, a, hold on, fluent. You guys would say that LeBron James would have been more polished in, by 2011, right? In his career, right? Without a doubt. Right? Without Correct. Doubt. Okay, so now, here's my point. Being on San Antonio. Guys, here's keep my going. point. Keep, here's keep my going. point. Right? Be, I, don't, I, don't, San Antonio. I don't care if he's on Pluto. If you ain't built like that, you ain't built like that. He wasn't built like that. That's he not he true. failed in that ticket. moment. That's not true, so Ticket. Put him in the it's moment, not the same thing. He failed, bro. It's not. Because Ticket, man. this is what you this is what you're doing, Ticket. You're taking a you're taking a 2004 LeBron James and fast forward in seven years of him with Tony Parker, with Ginobili, with Lamarcus Aldridge, as opposed to a LeBron James who's running around with his only constant 
as Zadrunas Ilgowskis and Anderson Verge. And, and, and that's who he's running with. And more importantly, with Popovich as well. That, and that, Greg that, Popovich. That, 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 that was that was that and I was getting to low. And low, I was actually getting to that. So not only Greg Popovich, he's got Mike Brown, who's all he's doing is give the ball to James, get out the way. There is nothing going on in Cleveland in terms of get a ball to James, get out the way. That's not going to happen in San Antonio. That's hey, not going to happen in Portland. Happen. Uh, None of that stuff right is going to happen. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so we, 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 we got to move happen. forward. Blue we got to move that's forward. That's going to happen right there. <laughs> None of that's that going to happen, happen right there. None that that fourth quarter is in the fight. It might, but he might still win. Yeah, that's the That is true. They might It might happen, but they might still win. Put me in a tight zone. Put me in a tight zone. None of that happens if he's going to say that. Put me in a tight zone. All right, all right, all right. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. We got 1,500 people in here. I love this show. Shout out to everybody in here. Shout out to the Napalm Bomb. Shout out to the Ethers. And shout out to the Headshots. Yo, uh, we're actually going to get off LeBron, but we're going to start talking about his teammate, Russell Westbrook. Before mm-hmm. we do that, yo, Ticket, I know I'm the host, but I, I, I could really jump in the panel too. It's no way you can sit here and tell me that LeBron with three Hall of Famers, I don't care what year it is in his life, I don't care if it's 10 years from now, that they won't win a championship and they were already a championship contender. I didn't say he would no, 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 what team he was on? I don't care if he was on Team Man. Irene. Listen. He ain't going to the finals. Listen, though. I, yeah. hey, I, I know who Tim time. Duncan is. I know who Tim Duncan is. I know who Tony Parker is, Fast. and I know who Mano Ginobili is. Fast. I know who LeBron. Hold on. I don't, look, hold on, put, hold on, Le, put LeBron in middle put school on that team. They going to the championship. <laughs> I know who LeBron James is. Put me in the tight zoom, man. Kawhi, Kawhi was putting up them numbers too, and they still got to the finals. I know who he is. 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 This is, this is what you're trying to sell us, Chicken. Yeah. You're trying no, to sell us. Hold up, though. Hold up, though. No, no, hey, 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 I, got, I, 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 got Dale, I got Dale ready to get in here. Right, but ahead, until we get the likes, I got oh, Dale ready to get man. in here. But oh, we can't handle another voice oh, in yeah, here. No, but until we get the likes up to 750, <laughs> Dale can't come in. Sorry, Dale. Oh, hey, Lo, man. What's up, Lo? You know what? We've I don't think me and Lo have ever met. It's nice to meet you, bro. What up, what up, what up, what up? What's up, man? What's up? Jeez. And by the by the way, I just ran a poll in the chat. It said, "Would LeBron have won a ring in San Antonio?" Eighty-seven percent of the people I unanimously agree. voted. No, 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 no. Say, 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 would they have won seven championships? No, no. no. Would they have gone, gone to seven? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Would they have would gone have to gone. seven straight? Seven that's, straight. That's, 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 a, that, that's a bad example because no, no, no hey, because I'm gonna tell you, hey, chill. It would have. He would have been Bill Russell. I think they would have. I, I do. I ain't gonna fight you, low. Even though it's not the same thing. The better question is this. The better question is, if he's on that team that goes to 10 straight finals and probably wins like Bill Russell, are they giving LeBron the praise or Tim Duncan? They might They might give Duncan in the beginning, but it, by the end of it all. Like by, by 2010-ish, when LeBron is starting to enter the team. Duncan in the post, oh, maybe Duncan gets more flowers. I don't know. I know, but like, in the beginning, 03, 04, 05. But by the time we get closer to like 2010s, when Duncan is declining, it's clearly Tony Parker handling the ball and, and running the offense. If LeBron is in that team, oh my gosh, that would have been. That's actually crazy Ron, to think about. Ron, Yo, ticket, hold, hold up right quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to you. Just hold that, hold, hold that thought right quick. Hold that thought. Um, I just posted a poll in the YouTube. You guys go and vote. It says, would LeBron have went to seven finals in San Antonio? You guys let me know. Also, we're at 681 likes. Dale doesn't get in until we get up to 700 likes. Go ahead, Ticket. Talk to us. Oh, I just unlike. They taking away. <laughs> they, they trying to veer away I'm from what I'm saying. What I'm, what I'm saying is, bro, is that I ain't just looking at talent and putting it together and saying they would have did that. You would have had to look at how that team fits. Bro. Every team LeBron play on, everybody got to change their game for him. Them dudes wouldn't have did that. LeBron has never showed y'all that he can adjust his game. Even when he went to Miami that first year, D-Wade was the man. But D-Wade had to adjust his game just for this dude to be able to play well. So you think and, that Tony that Parker, 
How did that go? I think, I think that's it's where that's where I think Greg game. Popovich, but that's why I think Greg Popovich is yeah. the difference. I think LeBron, to his detriment, hasn't respected his coaches enough to buy into what they're saying. But I don't think he could fight Greg Popovich. I think he would have fit in. But it would, I don't. I don't even think there would. I don't even think there would be nothing to initially fight if he gets drafted to that team. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's already implemented, right. and they already have the role right. that's struck before him. Right. It's nothing to even fight. No, <laughs> I'm saying what are the reason I'm why his game. His game ain't like that. Yeah, well, okay. He wouldn't have the same game. That's what I'm saying. His game wouldn't be the same. How? His game would be drastically different. So you think? Uh, so right. you tell? So you? So you're telling us that James from 2004 to 2000, I don't know, 11, he's the same player that he was? No, he's lesser because, and this is why, because most dudes that play with Popovich, what year are we talking about? Sacrifice, he gets drafted to San Antonio. They, they, oh, they, 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 sacrifice, they sacrifice their game for the betterment of the team. If LeBron James has to sacrifice all them numbers and all of that having the ball all the time, because he normally orchestrates everything, if he got to sacrifice that, because you got Tony Parker on the team too, who okay. likes to handle the rock, control the ball. So you put LeBron James off the ball in the corner and go tell him to play. What you think he gonna do? He'll play. All I see is bricks. He'll play. All I see is bricks. No, no. hold on, no, hold on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Absolutely not. I see. Not the guy that turned into a four percent shooter. Having him play like a point center. Like he, playing, he knocked playing. Rasho Nesterovich out of the starting lineup, and he's playing. So what yeah, Tony Parker would have been there? What Tony, what, if, if LeBron was on the team, what Tony Parker? What would his role? They have both. Been? They both share the, the ball handling responsibility. When does LeBron share the ball with anybody? He would, Under Greg Hey, can, 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 can you dudes? I'm glad you mentioned that, low because can you tell us who the Olympic coach was? The who? The who? Who's the Olympic coach when James was on the Olympic team? And how'd that go? How did how'd that work? And by the way, he was on the team with Brian and Chris Paul and Carmelo. He, 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 he wasn't the he wasn't the head coach. He wasn't the head coach. He did it to himself. You mean the same team? Pop wasn't the head coach in 08. Who was the head coach in 08? Coach K. Coach K. Okay, so Coach K. Coach K. Coach K. Was it? Coach K. Coach K. My fault. 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 I, that was filet mignon right there. But let yeah. me come back. Let me, let, me get the crab and the real quick. let me get the crab and the lobsters real quick. So then you mean to tell me the same team that the man, the myth, the legend, the black mamba had to come save Yo King because he couldn't get it done that first time around. So Kobe had to come on a redeemed team and get them dudes minds right so they could win. And, and the United States would have been embarrassed. Cut the cap, man. So that's a like four. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me make sure I'm getting this right. Four years later, so we got the so we got the same this dude proving the fact what he's saying. <laughs> Wait, can I ask a question? So you guys are saying LeBron career will be the same if Pop drafted him? No, yeah, no, that's well, what he's saying. So, that's what, let, that's let, let, let's let's rewind it oh, back. Yeah. Let's rewind it back because right. this is the question I'm dying for you to answer, and I only <laughs> want to hear from Dale Roy. I'm muting everybody else if they talk. Oh wow. Ticket said that. If LeBron got drafted to San Antonio, mm -hmm. they wouldn't go to seven finals. In that period of time, the seven straight finals. They would not have went to seven straight NBA finals, bro. They would not have, bro. Now, what? Uh, but before you answer this Yo, question, Dale, remember okay. this now. Remember right, right. Who, who was on that San Antonio team, right. James getting on the crew. Remember now. I, do you want, I do you want the team? You want no, the team? I, I, I don't. He, he seven, he wait, seven straight? Seven straight? <laughs> yeah, he basically replaced Tim Duncan, Bruce Tony Bowen. Parker, Bruce Bowen, Manu Ginobili, Nesterovich, Turkoglu, Malik Rose, oh Robert Ory, etc. Wait, wait, seven straight from 03 to 2010. The Spurs are going to the chip, y'all think? No, no, just going to the finals. You ain't even got to win it, just going to the finals. From 03 to, to 2010. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Straight. I don't agree with that either, though. 2004. I don't agree either. Why? Thank you, Dale. I don't. Because. Everybody dynamic changes with first and foremost is rookie LeBron. He's not gonna be the same rookie LeBron under pop under that he was with Cleveland. That same freedom he would not that, he would not new. get. That yeah, yeah. New. I know, I know. Yeah, so 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 um so that first year, I don't see them with that rookie Braun how playing going to the chip that like you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't see it. But will they win championships? One hundred percent. Seven straight. I don't. I don't think so. 
I don't no, think seven straight. Well, ticket, ticket, ticket is under the impression that James went to the finals seven straight years with the oh, okay. same team. He didn't yeah. go to the NBA no, finals. He didn't. He seven didn't. Straight years he didn't. He didn't. Eight straight years, eight straight years with two eight. different teams, and he did it seven years after he got into no, the league. No, I said so in the East. He wasn't rookie, LeBron. East. No, no, no. I said in the East. No, but he said 0-3. They gave me from 0-3. That's why I used that. Okay. No, you you were right. Okay, okay, okay. At any time, do you think he would have went to seven straight NBA finals in the West? At any time. On the Spurs. We're talking about on the Spurs. So he and gets then, drafted then, to the Spurs. Does he ever in his career go on a seven-year stretch? And then and then also before you answer that, I got a Col- that from East Side one GZA. He said Kobe 09 is, 010 is there. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> I, this, that's this, it's tough. It's tough, boy. Just so, just so you know, I'm glad you mentioned that ticket. I'm glad I'm glad you I'm glad you mentioned that ticket because that seven year to 2010, though. The Spurs win 50 games every season. They win two NBA championships. They win 60 plus games once too. So this is a team that won 50 plus games every year. And I understand that. To it, no, but but you guys are looking at LeBron James, the final product of right now. But no, that's not what you're at... doing too, Ticket. Uh-uh, don't, don't switch it up oh, now, I'm, Ticket. I'm, I'm not doing that. I ain't, I'm I ain't talking about you, Dale. Oh, okay, 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 you. okay. This okay. is what Ticket is doing. First, tick, first, he's getting on the crew. First, he's getting on the crew from 2003. To 2010, which he didn't go to seven straight finals then, but then I now, point, yeah. th- but then now, Dell tells us, you know, 09 010 Kobe. Just so you know, Dell, LeBron James in them three years when the Lakers went to the finals, those three years, LeBron James got a winning record in Cleveland against that Laker team. I just want to put that on your mind. So if you put him on that, listen, you put him on that San Antonio okay, team, let, okay, if you, if you put him on that San Antonio team. Let, okay, but look, this, this is the narrative of, of that because I, I swear, uh, Matt or LeBron fans always say that to me that that Lakers team couldn't beat Braun or whatever I say. I said, they're playing the regular season game, whatever. As, as we all know, regular season and playoff basketball is totally it's different. Different. It's different. We all know that. So even LeBron James dominating the Lakers at that time and they're not getting no wins. The Orlando Magic team that beat LeBron James in six, Kobe Bryant, them beat them in five, four to one. So yeah. we could say whatever we want to say about, but the playoffs is a yeah. different ball game. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't so, every, the, everybody yeah. flip flops on regular seasons because they'll say the Rockets had a winning record against Jordan Bulls. Ex- exactly. And yeah, when, right. And when, say, and when I say, oh, but the Raptors swept the Warriors with KD right. in 2019, oh, but that's different. They would have lost if he was in the final. Well, no, but they beat them in the. So I, I, that's why I don't like the regular season thing. That's yeah, because I always say regular season playoffs are different. So the Carmelo Anthony before he came to the New York Knicks had a winning record against LeBron James in the in the NBA regular season. What the hell did that mean? It meant nothing. <laughs> it don't accumulate to much at all. No one thought Melo was better than Braun or whatever the case may be on the domination he was. He was. of teams. So out, of, out of his career, he was. No, he Melo should have been rookie of the year. He I would argue that Melo should have definitely won rookie of the year. Definitely Those first two years, he was ahead of LeBron. Then LeBron lapped him and went ahead of him after that. Them first two years, there was never a point in Carmelo Anthony's career where he was, he was better. Than he was not oh, better. He was no, not no, better than James. Rookie year, rookie year, not better than James. Melo had a better rookie year than LeBron James. That's, 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 that's the only that's one that's I could that's give you. That's 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 low, low, low. You are Capitalot Records. Melo should have won Rookie of the Year. You won Platinum tonight, low. You are Capitalot Records. First year, Carmelo should have won the Rookie of the Year. That's a fact. He had a better. He had a better record. He had a. Hey, guess what? He had a better team, right? No, 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 no. They, they. Both had the same record the, the year record before. before. Melo made that. his team go to the playoffs, though. Mm-hmm. I'm the legend of winning right now. Keep they going. Keep the going. Record. They had the same it's record not, when they mm-hmm. came and they got drafted. Yeah, they Melo did. Melo went to the West, to the yeah. top of West, got made it to, to the, the playoffs. Playoff. Facts. The first, the Facts. first two years, he should have won rookie of the year, and the next year he took his team to the playoffs while your king was sitting at home licking his wounds. Now, two games, over, two games, two, two, two games all, over five hundred, and they were right outside I, the playoffs. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can all I'm I, can all I, can giving them is all I'm giving them is year one. I'm not saying I'm not giving them one. Yeah, it's year one. I'm going further than that. Denver, Denver, and Cleveland. Denver and Cleveland have the same record. The year that they, they got the same drafted, team, though. I get it, but they had the same record because everyone's going to bring up wins and losses. They had the same record, and Melo played more games, scored more points, had more rebounds. His team got more wins. I think he's the only, I think he's the only rookie. Tone. I'm glad you mentioned rookie. The only rookie. I think. He's, I think. I think. I think that Carmelo Anthony is the only rookie. To, to, he's the only rookie to be rookie of the month five times and not be rookie of the year. He's the only rookie to do that. Hold on, look. Wasn't he rookie of the month every month? He was. Oh, no. he. I, 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 he missed it one month. Did he missed it. One? He, he missed it one. He's the only rookie. I think he's after. Uh, what's the kid that's in Oklahoma City? Um, Josh Giddy. Him and Giddey. Josh Giddy. They're the only two guys 
to be rookie of the month five times and not be rookie of the year. I thought that that was interesting. There's a, there's a that, case that, for that, Carmelo that rookie year. Other yeah, than that, that's that, exactly. Dale that, 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 just said it. Dale just said I ain't going far. That's as far as I'm going, Dale. That's far as I'm going. I ain't going past that. That's it. The second year LeBron didn't make the playoffs either. Melo was He had a better team. He had a better team. That's because of him. Because of him. Because of him. Yo, we, first, 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 we need to hear Lowe's rebuttal. Hold listen, on, listen, hold listen, on. I need to first hear all, from Lowe. First, first of all, first of all, they weren't the same team. Nene, Nene, uh, not Nene. Mar Marcus Campbell only played 29 games in the pre previous season. He played all 72. They didn't have Andre Miller either. It was not the same team from. That matters, Lowe. That matters, ticket. That it, absolutely it matters. matters. And, and, that matters. And, and, and which, hold on, hold on, ticket. Hold on. Let's so, so, so when so when he made it to the playoffs, you had an all defensive level player on the team. Somebody's competing for defensive player in your roster on your team and on top of the other facilitator on your team, which is something that Carmelo Anthony needed practically his entire career. So to mm -hmm. sit there and say they're the exact same team, okay, so they were not so the LeBron same team. The who did LeBron Set? have on his team the second year? That's not, but that... He had a defensive player of the if, year caliber no, player on his roster? If you're going no, to he did not. Because no, I never remember nobody winning defensive player of the year with Melo his second year. But if you're going to name one side, name the players that was with LeBron. No, I said, you said, no, 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 no. You made it seem as if like when Melo got on the team, they all made they they they, they made it to the playoffs. It's because Melo there was so many they other won, pieces. They won the they same were, amount was, of games as LeBron won okay, when he got drafted. Uh, and you're not you listening to me. You're not listening to me. The difference was Marcus Camby was on the team the next year. So was Andre that Miller. You had a matters. defensive player and, and of the, the year. Who was on the roster? No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Here's the bullshit you be spitting. No, you do. We can sit here and waste a bunch of time. Team? You sit here oh, no, caping talk, for Dominique Wilkins. Name who's on LeBron's no, team. No, stop. You sat yeah, here caping for Dominique Wilkins talking about the players he had on his roster and all that other bullshit. Okay, now, all of a sudden, it when up. it comes to LeBron and, and Carmelo Anthony, I'll you're skipping over a defensive player of the year candidate. That's bullshit. Let me give you the same argument. Let me give you the same argument. Hold on. Let me give you the same argument. When I said Melo had a better rookie year, I said because he had more points, more assists, played more games, et cetera, et cetera. When you go to year two, Mar Melo stays about the same. 20 points, thank six rebounds, three assists. No, don't say thank you. Because yeah, that's not good. That's won. not good. He he won. 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 Hold on. Because in year two, LeBron goes from 20 points a game to 27. This, 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 this seven is the playoffs. Playoff. Why did he make the We spent the first 30 minutes talking about the players that were on Dominic's team and why he wasn't able to win. Now when it comes to LeBron's team, now all of a sudden teammates, oh, they don't really matter as much. He just didn't make the playoffs. That's it. Bro, the team that they were on, now that they were on, are just different. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, hey, I'm about, this is extra rotisserie right here. So if you look at LeBron's team that second year, he talking about Marcus Camby. Now pull up Marcus Camby's stats. Now watch this. He talking about defensive player of the year. That second year, LeBron James had Sejunas Sagalskis. He averaged 16.9 points. 8.6 rebounds. He also yep. had Drew Gooden. He averaged 14.4 points, 9.2 rebounds. He also had Jeff McGinnis, who averaged 12.8 points, 5.1 assists. And he also had on that team himself that averaged 27.2. So <laughs> himself is crazy. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, four dudes double figures. But when you talk about Marcus Camby, now pull up Marcus Camby's average and compare it to Drew Gooden's. There's no way you're this Yo, idiotic you to Andre, talk about you scoring averages with Marcus Camby. Not only that. Why? Yeah, not, 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 not only that. Averages with Marcus had, Camby. Melo had four guys scoring in double digits. No, not, said, not, no, not only did Melo have four guys scoring. Why are we leaving out the fact that James, why are we leaving out the fact that that second year, that second year, that team improved by 27 games. And that no, was primarily no, due no. to LeBron James. No, 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 hold on. Ticket, hold on, hold on. Ticket, games ticket, in the next ticket, season. Ticket, season. Ticket, wait, wait, wait. wait. In, all, in all four, there were four teammates around Melo who were in double figures. Four. Hold on, hold on. That's what I just said. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ticket, 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 wait, ticket, 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 time out. Ticket, ticket, average two and a half, ticket, two point one blocks that hold second up. year. Bro, in his, in his sophomore year, was four players on Melo who averaged double figures. I said Yo. in LeBron's second year, because I, I always I just said, said well, second year for Melo as well. I just said second okay, year for Melo. Okay, come on, come on, So, right. So, hold on. How many blocks did Marcus can be average that year? It doesn't Three. make a difference how many he blocked. It doesn't make a difference. Wait, wait, no, wait, 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 between 06, 07, 08, he's leading the league, but he averaged three blocks in 04. He averaged 2.1. 
So not only that. No, let me ask about, you a question, there's though. There's no way. Talk no, stop, deal. stop. There's no <laughs> way we're arguing if Elgowskis was the same defender as Marcus Camby. No, no way. No, I'm not even getting no on. No, 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 they're not no close way. at all. Marcus Camby, he's a Nick to me. He's a Nick. I don't worry about it. Let me ask you one question. I'm just talking about Melo and Braun rookie year. You right. think look, Braun, you don't you don't think Melo should have won that or at least if Cole? You, if we, if at least wanna, Cole. I, if you want to say Cole or if you want to say he should have won it because Mello he won more won. games, sure. Which I think is a bit inconsistent how they go from from year to year. Right. Not, to not with rookie, there, no, not with no, rookie, rookie when not with rookie of the year. Like for it to be that close with them two and one team catapult, he catapult he no matter if they had Andre Miller, Marcus Camby, which they did, and he he catapulted them to that playoff. His play. So Melo's the reason still that they made it to the playoffs that year. Yeah, and and, 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 he and nobody and, and I'm not arguing that they won eight more so, games and had right. a winning so, record. So just that yeah. that you are totally correct on sophomore year, but rookie year Melo Melo should have got that, bro. Or at least Cole, at least Cole. Hold on, hold on. Least Cole. Sophomore, year, hold on. sophomore year, LeBron so improved. Why didn't they make the playoffs? Why why did Melo still win more games? No, the team was worse. Melo was playing in a tougher conference. His I don't want to hear no excuses. Melo was playing against Kobe. He was playing against. Uh, uh, all them other dudes in Bro, the West, Jim Duncan. All them the in year two, two, in year two, in year two, ticket, the 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 teams' records are close within a couple. Of, but LeBron played significantly better than Melo. He averaged seven more points, four me. more assists, two more rebounds. So why because did it have a better effect on making the playoffs? Easier time. That, that's that's the, the supporting cast. But the East is easier than the West. We just his said that, right? Worse. His team is worse. That's a goddamn man. That's a damn lot, man. All right, y'all. So we gotta move on. We gotta move we on. About? I, 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 I got. I got. I got. I got a, I got a better a topic. Lot, I got a better topic. Five players around him with double figures. One of which was a defensive player of the year. This man cap. This man cap for a dude who don't had the best players in the league. His whole damn his whole career. Yeah, we his whole career, we talking about his sophomore year. Yes, in his sophomore year, Carmelo Anthony led his team in a tougher conference because he had better teammates. That's a lie. Look at his team. He had four dudes with double figures on his team. And so did Carmelo Anthony. All right. All right. All right. I didn't, I didn't had to mute y'all now. We got to move on. But Ticket, yep. that was kind of nasty comparing Marcus Canby, Kenyon Martin, and, <laughs> and Andre Miller to Ilgowskis, Drew Hold Gooden. On. Was Marcus Canby in his prime? Was Marcus Canby in his prime then? He was in 2003. In 2003, 2004, he was in year seven. I'd like to think he was in his prime. And, and, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, no ticket. We're done with that. We're moving on. We're done with that. We're done with that. Now we about to get into a, a gauntlet with Magic Johnson, and I'm gonna ask you guys a player, and you tell me if they were more impactful than Magic Johnson. Are we all ready for this? Let's yeah, you it. can. You can put my answer on repeat. No. Every every no. every player every player every player you mentioned with Magic Tone gonna say Magic. <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> all right. Well. We're going to start right from the top. Y'all know exactly where I'm going with this right from the mm -hmm. top. Magic Johnson, is he more impactful than LeBron James? I'm I'm, I'm going to start with you, Low. What, the NBA or his team? Imp no, impactful to winning. I'm going to start with mm -hmm. you, Low. No. Chill? Yes. Dale? No. <laughs> to winning, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fluent? I'm sorry, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. Can we just say, can we, can we go back and we say, can we say the players? Can we just go I, 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 I got the question screwed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Is, is Magic Johnson more impactful to winning than LeBron James? No, he wasn't. Yes. No. He wasn't. Yeah, can we can we say the players? Can we go back and say the players mm. for, for is, the sake of the clips? Yes, clip? yes. Is is LeBron is is LeBron James more impactful to winning than Magic Johnson? I'll go with just LeBron. Okay. I'll go with LeBron. Yes, LeBron James is more impactful to winning than than Magic Johnson is. LeBron, Magic, ticket, Irvin Magic Johnson. <laughs> just okay. keep going. We're not doing the back and forth. Let's do it at I the really, end. I really let's, let's go at the end. Let's go at the end. Let's go at the end. I really yeah. wanted to hear, it, but come on, let's go. Nah, we'll go, go at the end. end. Let's go. My bad. My bad. Okay, ticket. No, 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 ticket. I gave you opportunity. It's easy. For what you did, right? Give me two seconds. What did you no, no, no. Come on. We got it. We got to keep it pushing now. Magic got drafted. That's Kareem was losing in L.A. till Magic got drafted. So you talk about effect on winning with all them dudes that was around him. 
What would have happened if Magic would have never came to the Lakers? It would have been no time later. Yeah, the key still know that. Let's let's be clear. Everyone's that. confusing Lowe the question who's the better player. I would still say LeBron has more impact. <laughs> That's the same. All right, come People on. We talk we, about we, a dude we, lost six NBA finals more impactful. That's cap. All right, we, we move it. We, we move it to the next player. Who's more impactful to winning? Magic Johnson or Kevin Durant? Low. Magic. 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 But it's funny that they say that with, with KD when he did the same thing LeBron did. LeBron and KD did the same there thing. Own there team. we go. <laughs> I'm, all I'm, right, so, I'm all surprised. Right. I'm surprised. Dell said magic. Well, I'm the, I, I've never capped no, on no, questions, no, bro. Just, yeah, just, yeah. Just, just, it's it's, it's a simple. Because we all know magic about is KD. We do. And, 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 and you know that question was a setup. We, we do. We, we do know <laughs> oh yeah, no, like it's not. Wait till the next one. Go. Who's more impactful to winning, Magic Johnson or Kobe Bryant? Oh, oh, low. It's on you. That's magic. tough. Magic. That is very magic. tough. I'm gonna go magic. Magic. <sighs> That's tough. I don't understand why this is difficult. I don't. It's difficult because if you take Kobe away, no. from Shaq, Shaq had one without it, Kobe. It, it's difficult. Ah, shit. Shaq had one without Kobe. Shaq had Penny Hardaway. He had Nick Van Exel. He had Horace Grant. He had Ho Grant. All of the 2006 dudes. never happened. Am I going crazy? Am I losing hearing, my mind? You're not hearing what I'm saying to you. But but no. it's probably, it I don't know. Kobe. I don't know the 06 for years for Magic or like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know Magic years from 19, we just, 1980 to 1990. I don't know his full trajectory. I don't know if it was finals every year. I don't know if he got swept he in, was in the second Magic round. Johnson. Real quick, real quick, Dell. I just want you to know that. Magic yeah. played 12 years. He had a 12-year prime. In those 12 years, he was in the NBA finals nine times in those 12 years. That's he missed fine. the Western Conference Championship one time. That's, that's dope. So with that being said, then. I just want to put that on your mind. Any now I just now I gotta look at Kobe's best Dale, twelve years. Look at the teammates he had too. He still had all time grace. He had he had that's a fact Andy though. Murray. He had all them other dudes. It was Kobe. It was going to run like Kobe and Shaq, baby. So you know what it is. Now bro. I'm glad you brought that up, ticket. Because I might have to go cold, bro. I'm sorry. I might have to go cold, bro. I'm sure. I'm glad you brought that up, Dale. I might have to go cold, yo. I might have. That's fair. I might have to go cold, yo. Because it's interesting you mentioned that. Because Kobe had three one with Smush Parker. He lost it, but he still had it. I'm sorry, they lost, but I don't care. I might have to go cold. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 I'm, su I'm surprised that that's not brought up as, as much as it should be brought up. And he was up, up. He was he was up three one in that series. Yeah, that's he, a he fact. And then in game and, seven, he folded like a baby himself, like a lawn chair. Yeah. Did. Okay. Completely yeah. folded hey, up. Hey, 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 chill, town. Can I ask you one question? You already did. You just did. Is that, hold on. Just ask me. Hey, real talk. I got love for you, dog. You a good dude, man. Listen, I got one question for you, though, dog. Is that is that better than getting swept? Nothing is better than getting swept. No, no nothing is worse. Well, than not make, I guess not, not making nothing, a playoff. Nothing is worse than getting swept. Oh, so, so, hold on. So, so just, just so you know, just so you know, Chill tells me multiple times a day. Getting swept, I'm on record. I'm on record. You get there. swept out of the playoffs, no you ain't close to winning. I don't care if you get swept in the first round or you get swept in the finals. You get swept, you ain't close to winning it. You out. I'm good on that. You're fluent. It's on you next. Before how you gonna, how you gonna ask me about my favorite player, my second favorite player all hey, time? Uh, hold, let's hold up, let's hold be up. real. We, we I, go with, I go with my favorite player every we, time, even though my second favorite player was the one that got me into basketball. But we going with Kobe Bean. You going Kobe? <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Well, the thing and that I'm, I'm riding shotgun, I'm riding shotgun with fluent because it's easy, baby. Shaquille, Shaquille, as dominant as he was, guess what? Orlando didn't want to give him hundred million dollars, and he was asking for it. They was willing to let him walk, and I could pay him hundred million dollars at that time. So they didn't value Shaquille like they should have. And then let's look at this. Let's look at this. Shaq did have Penny Hardaway, Nick Van Exel, Dennis Scott, Horace Grant. They Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson. Nick Anderson. Oh yeah, Nick Van Exel with the Lakers. Like hold on. They were, oh, with Lakers. Oh, okay. they were set to win the chip, and they couldn't get it done. But when he went to go play with Kobe. The difference in them winning was Kobe being Bryant had to be Kobe for them to win. Because if Kobe wasn't Kobe, and, and we've seen what happened, he, even after he left Kobe, yeah, he won with D-Wade, but Shaq wasn't the same Shaq. He was a he was a second dude on that team. He was a Robin on that team. So we talk about Kobe being Bryant. You talking about the three with Shaq, the most dominant. Then after that, 
he went back to three finals, won two. It's got to be Kobe because Irv, and you look at the teammates. Look at the teammates Kobe played with all that time. Because yep. mm-hmm. outside of Kobe and Shaq, you had Robert Ory. Mm-hmm. One year, one year it was Glenn Rice. But the other Glenn years, Rice, facts. Other years, other years it was an old Ron Harper, Derek Fisher, mm-hmm. all the role players, yep. all the old role players. Yep. Magic Johnson had all Hall of Famers on his squad. All a lot of them do James Worthy. And you saw what they did. All and of you them, saw right, what no, they no, did. No, 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 hold on. Right. But what I'm saying right. is he still had more of a company with Kobe and Shaq. It was Kobe and Shaq doing the most of the damage. That whole three P. That whole three. And then when you came back, when Kobe came back, three straight NBA finals. Bean got him back to three straight in LeBron era. It's got to be Bean Brown. Now was that LeBron the, era? What? Yeah, LeBron because era? because that was when that was when they had the Kobe, that was when they had the Kobe and LeBron. Dog. 2000, yeah, 2008, they praising, 2009, they 2010. LeBron. They were yep. saying LeBron was the king. 2008, 2009, 2010. Oh, I, I, I remember one season in the NBA. No, no, I see you just saying, but I just, I just view that as Kobe era. Yeah. Yeah. That is Kobe era. You're right. That's yeah. Kobe era. That's just that's, that's, that's Kobe's Kobe era. Kobe's era. It's Kobe era. He's right. Who was waiting for him in the finals, fluent? When they had the Kobe and Shaq dogs, who was waiting in the finals? Look. Rubbing their hands like bird, man. It was the black mama, baby. He was waiting. He wanted all the smoke for all the marbles. And, and oh, that man. But 0910, that's Kobe era. That's sure. Kobe era. That's yeah, Kobe. I think. LeBron, LeBron, be, LeBron won two bro, MVPs. LeBron nah, won back to back MVPs. Don't that's play Kobe that Kobe. game with me. So this is, so this is, so uh, we're at Joker's era. era right now. He went back to back. You're not hearing me, bro. This ain't LeBron's uh, era no more. This is Jokic. Is Jokic era? Is it Jokic era? No, you're not. No, this is Giannis Antetokounmpo's era. But you just said he went back to back MVP. No, it's, I said the year that him and Kobe was supposed to play in the finals, 09 and 010. LeBron which is his era back-to-back. because he went back to MVP. I'm a, right. But, and I'm telling you that it was the man <laughs> that the legend that was waiting <laughs> in the finals for that boy. So <laughs> no, 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 wait, you're right. Ticket, I, I agree with you. Wait, 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 why? He won two back to back MVPs. Okay, 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 okay. 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 And guess so, what? Hold on, you got a ticket. You can take so, it from here. Yeah, so, does that, so does that mean it's Jokic era because he won back to back MVPs? No, I'm saying at that time they was all picking LeBron. Jokic never. Anybody first of all, first first of all, the Jokic right the, now? And not only that, the Joker the Joker logic doesn't work because Joker didn't take his team to where James took his team to. That's that. that but, that's that one. but James no. just what? took one team there, though. He took one team to finals in 07. If that's what you want to give him and for taking no, the team, took, okay. So 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 let me let me make sure I'm getting this correct. Jokic made team. a, a Western took, Conference Finals, right? Not the NBA Finals, he, and then James no, also. Right. And, so and, that's and, what I'm saying. So you just giving him 07. You just giving LeBron 07 against. I'm the not giving him 07. I'm giving him. I'm giving him 09, and I'm giving him 10. Absolutely. Losing losing in the second round. Not, he, he didn't lose it. He, he lost he in the lost second, in the second round. round to the Celtics. He yeah. did lose to the second round in the Celtics. But in 09, 09 he lost to the Eastern lost. Conference champion. He did win the league MVP, and he did finish second in the league in defensive player of the year. Kobe we, Bryant never finished But, but you third. just said Jokic got similar. He got similar. No, stuff. I, I, I said that. I did not say Jokic. You're not going to put those words in my mouth. No, I didn't say you said that. I didn't say you said that. This is, what, this, 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 this is what I'm thinking. Of, this is what I'm thinking about when I think about Magic. You talk about the teams, okay? So the general manager was Jerry West. He did put James Worthy. He did put Byron Scott. He did put Michael Cooper. He did put um, who am I think Bob McAdoo. He did put all of these pieces around Magic Johnson, and he was rotating these guys. Right now, anybody can train a secretary. You can screw them up too, though. So he had to get the right guy in there in order to coach that team. Magic was the difference on that team before. They were doing anything because when I look at that unit, I agree with you. I agree. Magic was the difference on that unit because when I look at when Jabal got there, they were Oklahoma City when he got there in 76. They were Oklahoma City. They went from that to two years later. They're in the Western Conference Championship and they're in the Western Conference semifinals the next year when they lose to the eventual champion Seattle Supersonics. Then they get Magic and now they're back on top. That team was already as good as it was. Magic was the difference and his impact on winning. I thought was bigger, even though Kobe might have been on a lesser team. I thought that with Magic on that crew, how much better he made those guys, how much better he made James Worthy, how much better he made Michael Cooper, how much he, how much better he made Byron Scott, how much better he made those guys. Just like, just like Kobe Bryant. But, but, I don't think Kobe. I don't think Kobe. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't Hold up, hold up, hold up! It's a bunch of people trying to talk right now. I need one person to talk. Go ahead. I don't. I, I, I'm sorry. Or chip. Go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, Ford. I just said Kobe won without Shaq. Magic ain't win without Kareem. Easy work. He got there. Though. <laughs> he, he got to the. He did. He did get to the finals. He did get to the finals without him. Yes, he did. 
He did yeah. get to the finals without him. Don't leave that part oh, out. No, 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 and no, Shaq won without Kobe. And Shaq and Shaq won without Kobe. So hold on, hold on for a second. Hold on for one second, Tony. Magic made the difference for those guys, but you know the system changed too to allow Magic to that Showtime high pass. Powered, sorry, high paced offense. Speed the game, huh? sure. They fed sure. into it too. So it wasn't sure. just the addition of magic. Right. There was a new coach. There was a new system. There was, right. there was a lot of things that changed too. Now, with that being said, Tone, when I think about that Laker team, when I think about the impact that Kobe Bryant had on them and winning, did Kobe Bryant, was he responsible for making Derek Fisher what he was? Was he responsible for making Robert Orry better? In fact, there was a division on the crew on who well, the guy was. Magic on. And gravity, yeah, he totally did. Gravity, I agree. I agree. He made, he made this thing. And Kobe and Shaq repeated with another Hall of Famer. Yo, yo, chill, chill. Three Hall of Famers every year. Chill. Quick <laughs> question though: the players you named for Magic, of course, he made them better. He was the engine or whatever the case. But do you do you think it's harder for him with those type of players or LeBron with the players he had to take to the you mean, promise? Kobe, land? you need some Kobe. Or 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 Kobe. I'm sorry, Kobe. Kobe was definitely on. Kobe, Kobe was definitely on a lesser talented team, no doubt about that. Right. But so to, to was, back was, to back with that, isn't that you know what I'm saying? Wait, he, he was on a lesser talented team. I, that that part I won't argue. That that that, that part other, I will not argue. No. Other way. than that's, that's I why I say, say by a hair, why I say Kobe over Magic because Magic had, with that Magic had the MVP of the league, one of the best defenders in the league in Coop. Right. Like he had so much. I love that team. Well, I love that team so much when I was a kid. There's so much talent. So much talent. But there was also, but there was also, don't don't, 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 don't leave, don't leave out the fact that there was a division on the team. There was no division on the team with the Lakers when when Kobe was. There was, was, there was. I ain't talking about Kobe. I'm not done. Oh well, you said there was no division when there was. There wasn't. There, I don't remember a division between Ma Magic and Norm Nixon. I don't remember that. Hell yeah. I don't. Rem I, I do remember a division between Kobe and Shaq, and I do okay, understand what that there. division was. Stop there. Okay, so it was a division between Kobe and Shaq, and not Magic. Can you imagine if them two was ever on the same page? But they weren't though. No. No, that's yeah, what I'm just saying. Yeah. So I, mean, I, can't, I guess, but you, that, you, that, you, that, for, yeah. for the context we're putting it into. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, actually, they, and, and here's the thing, though: they glorify work. magic for it to seemingly work so but that, well. But that, right? but that goes, but that goes into the argument. What we're saying, we're arguing who has more impact on winning. If so, you, you say if oh, you impede it. Wait, if you impede it, that process of winning. And that kind of goes against the But both of them impeded Kobe and Shaq. It wasn't Kobe alone. And it's no, obviously... I, 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 but, 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 <laughs> oh, okay. we, we, I'm not saying well, that I get it what you're saying, yeah, though. But, I get yeah. it. I get with it. With that, right, be, with that being it. said, though, Low, with that Jeez. being said, though, the, with that being said, though, there's also the logic that with Kobe Bryant, not just with Kobe Bryant, they were on the same page. How do we know that? They won the NBA championship three years in a row. So they had to, at some point, get on the same page. No, it no, wasn't yeah, always, yeah, for sure. For sure. No, no, no. I see right. what you're saying, but but I mean, me personally is looking at is viewing this as, as if they was like if either Shaq or Kobe was like yo honestly if we buckle down we could get at least seven. <laughs> we well, could, put, the, put, the, put this on your mind, Dale. Put this on your mind. We're talking about a team that went to the NBA Finals four times in five years. Yep. If I'm if my math is correct, that's eight trips in ten years, winning six. That's what that looks like to me. Now, Magic on the other hand, well, Shaq, he got he got he got Jabal on the other side of his prime. He got James Worthy when James Worthy was a pup. He got Bob McAdoo when Bob McAdoo was on the other side of his prime. He got Michael Thompson on the other side of his prime. He got all of these guys when they were on the other side of their prime. But Magic was coming into his prime, which extended those guys' careers, as opposed to when I look at that Laker team, that Laker team was built entirely around Shaquille O'Neal. Kobe Bryant turned into who he turned into, and he needed to turn into that in order for Shaq to win. But Shaq turned into what he turned into, he needed to turn in that in order did, for Kobe Bryant to win too. Did Shaq win? Did Shaq win without Kobe? He did. Before, oh, yeah. but before he talking about before he got. Oh, him. before. No, 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 any no, of those no. chips do Shaq win without Kobe? Uh, uh, no, no, he no, doesn't. No, 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 he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, so what I'm he, saying, does, he doesn't win any saying, of those. What we saying is, is we add net plus when Shaq got up out of there, Kobe Bryant <laughs> went back to the NBA Finals and won two more. That's right. So now, here's the thing. And, here's the thing. and you tell me this: Who was the other top seventy-five player all time he had on the second run? Right, and then tell me this: Who was the all-time seventy-five second player he, or third player he had on the first run? Now I can tell you, Hall of Famers, who was on the first in, the, uh, in the, I mean, excuse me, the whole run for Magic. Right. But you can't tell me no Hall of Famers outside of 
Shaquille O'Neal. Well, two, I, I, this is I, this is what I this is. Real, I'm sorry, Lo, to cut yo, you yo, off. Get, get this, 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 this got to move Real on. quick, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, Ron. Real, real quick, I want to get the. I, I want to let you know this. So, what I don't want to do is I don't want to lessen Shaq when he yeah. was in Miami because I want to make sure we remember. Yeah, this. he was in that. Re- right. Remember, remember. Uh-uh, don't don't do that ticket because just so you know, his set his first year in Miami. If Dwayne Wade doesn't get hurt in that Eastern Conference Championship, they beat Detroit. Add that to the fact that Shaq finished second that year in league MVP votes. I was about to yeah. say that. He, right. he finished second that year behind Steve Nash in league MVP votes. So he still was elite. That's number one. Number he two, averaged. he averaged 22 Four. and nine that year. 22 and nine. Yeah. He, he averaged. got Kareem on the downside. Man, he was on the other side of his – He, he won an MVP, and now he you're just freezing Shaq. And thank you, Floyd. Floyd, you're the new James Harden. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. What are we talking about here? You said Magic got Kareem on Kareem's downside. He got him on the other side of his career, correct. He got him on the other side of his prime. MVP. Okay, he was still elite. What does and that now, have to do with anything? Now, because now you're saying Shaq won an MVP, so is, wasn't he also in his and downside? He, and he was still elite. That's the point. So they were both on their downside, but both still elite. That's the point. Okay, I'm just I'm making sure we're saying the same thing because that's, it's that's the little, point. You're saying Shaq wasn't on his. Downside. I didn't say that. I know I, I said did. it sounded like you did. I'm confirming with you. Oh oh my God. God. All, All right, right Sean. Go yeah. ahead, Ron. I'm sorry. What I'm let's, asking you. Let's, hey, let's move forward. Let's, these move forward. No. let's move forward. Oh my um, God. I posted <laughs> that in the chat. Who's more impactful to winning, Magic or Kobe? In the chat, voted 54% for Magic, 45% for Kobe. So that's what the chat thinks is more. Impactful I, I want to see if people are going to be consistent with this last name that y'all oh, that y'all bringing oh, up. Oh, okay, Please. so the next question or person that I have for you. Before I get to that, I want to say it's 1,670 people in the chat, and we only have 829 likes, which means half of you guys out there haven't liked the video yet. So some things just are adding up. If you don't want to like the video, then, bro, why are you watching it? All right. Anyways, (laughs) the next person I got for you guys, who's more impactful to winning? I got Magic Johnson. Or Luka Doncic, low. It's on you. Like the video, Magic Johnson. Magic. Magic. Who is it? Magic or who? Luka. Oh, Magic. <laughs> Take it. Uh, Magic Johnson. But it, I mean, you talking about winning the championship? Luka ain't never won no chips. So can't. I mean. Oh, you just talking about winning? It's, it's early. It's early in his. Yeah, it's, no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's too early. early it's, it's, it's an unfair it's comparison, hard. but it's magic. No, no, no. Yeah. It's the reason why I said that. Because he, he, we all know Luke ain't won no chip. So when he says impact on winning, if you go if we going back through Luca's international career, I mean, Luca's a superstar. He's won championships since he was 15 years old, been MVP. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Then. I, I so still think I, it's a little too early, though. I just think it's, it's something. No, but I think his impact on winning is is is. It's oh, it's up definitely there. up there. It's, but it's up I there, to be like, honest with you, bro. And yes. I know people going to say – I'm not trying to say he's magic, but his impact on winning – like, if you take him off the Dallas Mavericks, they're a lottery team. That's a fact. That's true. But, yo, Ticket, how do you praise Luka so much in this time but don't praise Braun? It's the exact same because Luka, thing. Because, hold on. Because Luka didn't, cause Luka didn't go to a super team yet? Because he ain't go to a super team. Yeah, he ain't go to a super team yet. Which is happening, yeah. by the way. Let's make sure we're clear. Which is happening, this. by the way. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. It is definitely Because, happening. first of all, Luka, Luka Donish, let's be honest. If, if, every, if we just all be honest and take our egos out of this, Luka's had a better start to his career than LeBron. They're the exact same. They're the exact no, same. No, 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 no. He's had a They're the exact same. Career. He's had a better start to his career. Are you going to argue they made the playoffs and he's going to win? No, 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 you no, mean no, statistically no. or wins and losses? I think stats, they're the same. Listen, no, 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 no. His I think stats, Lucas are a little bit better, but Luka came, in, Luka came in as a pro, though. You have to understand the difference. That's true, that's LeBron, true. Came from, LeBron came from high school. Luka came from playing with grown that's men. That's true. That's true. All right, y'all. Let's move on to the next one. I have Magic Johnson. Is he more impactful to winning than Tim Duncan? Now, y'all better be consistent on this. I got Tim Duncan. Who's y'all? You talk, oh, you ain't talking about me. <laughs> y'all better be consistent. What y'all just said about Kobe and them, y'all better be consistent. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Chill. Oh, Magic, because I think they were in the same situation. I think that Tim Duncan was the difference in that San Antonio unit. They were a, a, a big-time player in Tim Duncan away from – getting right back in the middle of being a Western Conference champion or being a championship contender because before they get with Tim Duncan, they're a playoff team. They get Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan makes them a championship team, and he makes them a championship team because of what he does offensively and defensively, just like what Magic did. 
Got you, got you. Yo, Dale, talk to us. Hey, I'm we got about 15 a, minutes I, left in this video. Y'all get us up to a thousand likes before this ends. Hold on, who Go you ahead, Dale. Who, I'm who, going, who I'm going, going Mr. Mr. I'm magic. going Mr. Fundamental. Mm. And why is that? It's simple, bro. There's <laughs> nothing to be said what Tim Duncan did. Yeah, it's the, that, just go to the He's next He's more back for the winning. I mean, based yeah, on what y'all just said about Kobe. Okay, well, let, 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 let me say. Hold, hold up, ticket. Hold up. I'm going to let you cap it. Let, let, let uh, Fluent get to his. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. My bad, Fluent. It's, 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 I'm going to stay consistent. It's magic. And I've always said it's magic. And I told you I'm going to answer magic to everything except for Kobe. It's magic. Because the Spurs, the Spurs, people forget the Spurs were a good Really, like a championship team, and the only oh, reason they, they get them, Duncan, hold on. Hey, Low, don't do that. Uh, tone, tone, hold on, hold on, Tone. Low, don't do that. They was they decimated by injury. The only they reason were, they got they the were, number one pick, they, they, they were decimated, decimated by injury. By injury. Oh, yeah, but they were, but and then they, they were decimated. Over. But a championship team, they won a, they, they won a championship, but two years earlier, no. The Spurs? The Spurs won a championship. Too. No, they wait, 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 no, that was the Rockets. Rockets. That was the Rockets. And, oh, and no. then, David yeah. Robinson, sorry, you're right. They're not, they didn't win a championship, but they were a playoff, playoff team. They were a playoff team. Right. They was a Western Conference championship. Oh, you're right. You're right. Western Conference uh, champion. They was in the Western Conference championship in the West for one year. Yes, they were. One year, just one. They just got that one when Kareem, when when Hakeem did whatever he wanted to to David Robinson. finished though. So they were already a team that was very very good playoff team. David Robinson gets hurt. Mm, yes, that's he did. Only I remember reason, all of this. They got Tim Duncan. That's the only reason yep. they get they stink, and that's the only reason they get Tim Duncan. Of course, so they were a very, very good team. You're right. I apologize. I correct myself. Not a championship team. And the only reason they get Tim Duncan is because David Robinson misses that season. If he doesn't miss that season, there's no Tim Duncan on that team. So, but it, after it, David Robinson come back from injury, he's never the same player he was before injury. Wait, wait, wait. Like, hold on for a second, Dell. Why are you fighting this, Low? I mean, David Robinson I did win that. If I'm not mistaken, I, 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 David I, I, Robinson, didn't he win the league MVP in 1995? And two yeah, years he before that, he was the player of the year. So why are we talking about this first? He was not 93. Right, in 93, he won the defensive player of the year. Not only that, he won the league MVP in 95. But he just wasn't the same player. All I'm, not, I'm, not, okay, I'm not even, okay. I'm not even okay. talking about that. I'm talking about Sean Elliott being a 17 to 18 a game guy. I'm talking about Avery. I'm talking about. I'm, ta I'm talking about. I'm talking about Avery Johnson being who he was. That unit was the same unit, healthy when they got Tim Duncan. Hey. And okay. Tim Duncan hey. was that dude from okay. the door, just and, like Magic and, was. And, and, and Only and I think it. that. Please, but please magic answer, players, I'm, I'm, but hold on, I'm magic saying, players you're naming were better than every Thank player you, you named. We just did the same thing with Kobe Bryant. Exactly. exactly. Hold on, hold on. But the Spurs Hall of Famer. Famer. They still David had Robinson had is a uh, sorry. Who, who's Hall of Famer? Who, who's Hall of Famer? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. You're not hearing what I'm saying. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it, tell it, me, it, Sean Elliott, Avery it, Johnson. It, 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 <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Tell us and then answer the question. Who's more impactful? You gotta answer the question. You gotta answer the question. No, 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 no. He said, "Who had more impact on winning? It was Magic Johnson." I'm gonna tell you why. And this at Fluent, I got your back. You should have said this. Tim Duncan never won back to backs. He never won a back to back chip. How he never had a he never play with Kareem Worthy, Hold on, hold on. Let me start. Norm Nixon. I'm not finished. Hold on, low. Hold on, low. I'm not finished yet. And then he won championships, and he wasn't the main guy on the team when he won those chips. Those later chips. Tony Parker has stepped up and taken over the role. As I, well. I was, I was going to say, he wanted to be consistent. Let me say a question. For, 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 all, for, all, for all the Magic's five championships, he had finals MVP. No, he didn't win finals MVP every year. I know. He didn't. Who, 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 had, the better who, had, who had better coaching up until they got Pat Riley? It was. It, it wait, was, wait. We're not dissing Pat here. I'm not dissing Pat. Okay, okay. So, so wait. So how, how, how long? How long was it until Pat Pat's Riley? Pat's different, it was, boy. It was no, no, no. It was year what? Two or three of Magic. He got him in his first couple of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Magic got Pat. Tim Duncan got one less uh, NBA championship, dog. Cut it out. They never won back to back. They got the same. They got the same. They got five. 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 On all on more of those teams than Magic was on his Who team. Who was? How, how many? How many? Just tell me a number. How many? How right. Many? How many? And I got oh, another Tim question Duncan after that. Tim, Tim, Tim Duncan. Duncan Tim Duncan, Tim Duncan was the man on the first three. He Tim Duncan was phenomenal, the phenomenal, and, and underrated. But he didn't have the impact on the, the game as Magic did. He didn't. All right. So let me let me let me let me answer the question to which I want to know. Um. Yeah. No. San Antonio was not this great elite. No, they weren't. 
They made it exactly. to the conference finals one time. One time. One time. Two years before they got Tim Duncan. Duncan. Low, don't, got Tim Duncan. Low, don't make it sound oh, like my. low. Don't make it sound like they got they they made it to the conference finals one time, which was like eight years ago. It was two no, but, years but, before but, they got but, Tim but, Duncan. But the, but the, the things that happened, but the things that happened in those two years is very important because David Robinson got hurt. It was never the same player again. So I I know he wasn't the same player again. Because then when we get to 99, let's get to mm -hmm. 99. 99 they won I don't want to talk champion. about 99, but we got to get to it. But 99, they won a championship. Mm -hmm. Tim Duncan's a finals MVP. He's putting up great numbers. We're talking about second Let year. Tim, Tim Duncan came into the NBA, was, 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 was um, all NBA, all rookie. And all first team, all, I think, or all, second all, team. And, and made all he defensive, team all, NBA. all defensive. Yep, as a rookie. All <laughs> as a rookie. He, was second team all, he was a second team all league defender as a, as a rookie. As a, a rookie. Yeah, as a fact. I, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken, I think there's only two or, two other players who've been able to hey, say they've been hey, able Lo, to make it as a went rookie. Back to back, then, so let me ask, hold on, got, this is my wait, question. Wait, wait, all right, you got to go ahead, Lowe. Go ahead. Yep. So then, if David Robinson was this great of a player and all this talent was around him, and oh my God, Greg Popovich, in 2000 when Tim Duncan got hurt, bro, why did they get knocked out in the first round by Phoenix? They got knocked out in the first round by, by uh, Stephon Phoenix. By Stephon Marbury, I think. No, no, not even Marbury. It wasn't Stephon. No, no na name me a player who you think was on that team. Name me one. Oh, I thought it was Steph Sons. It was, it was, it was, it was Kevin Johnson. They, they were so desperate for guard play because Jason Kidd got hurt that they took Je Kevin Johnson out of retirement up. so they can play. David Robinson couldn't lead that team past that team, bro. David Robinson in that series shot thirty-seven percent from the field. Make make sure Luke Longley and I'm glad out of the league. And I'm glad you mentioned that, Low. So tell everybody what where David Robinson was at that point. Don't make it sound like David Robinson was David Robinson of 1995. Tell everybody who but David Robinson was. That's what we're saying. That's, that's what that's we're saying. That's, that's what we're saying. We're saying that. that. The point I'm making though is that Tim Duncan was able to win a championship with that with, caliber of David but, Robinson. Yeah, that's what we're saying. He was David, David, so David Robinson was the same player in 2000 that he was when he got him in 1997. He we're was the same dude. We're talking about 99. 99. Next year, very next year. But the question is, Robinson. the question is, who's more impactful on winning? Right. Not it in would a, have not, to be hold on, Tim not Duncan. in a year right. for a career. Let's, right. we, we, okay. can, we, can, we can keep going. We're talking about not only did, did Tim Duncan play longer he's also being able to make the playoffs longer he's also able to keep have a level of consistency winning throughout the entire time Look, can add, I on, add on to add on wait wait add on add on top of the fact even when they won again bro david robinson was even worse tony parker and he was over. were in there were in their rookie and sophomore seasons right. he was, tim duncan was not you? playing he was in year six old shirt down. he was not he playing was, these was, and they were together for a long time no but but they were hold together hold for a long for many years yes. like, he's, 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 he's the running back he's the running back magic is the quarterback it's the guy the guy who has his ball in the hands more is more impactful so so then that's that's the second part those san antonio spurs team built their identity off of defense Right. Not based off of Tony Parker and all of them scoring all these points. No, it was off of defense, mm -hmm. especially in the first three years when they won a championship. It right. was off of defense. Right. And then the offense, even with Tony Parker and them handling the ball in Ginobili, they still ran mm -hmm. the offense through Tim Duncan. Correct. So, so the Parker offense was the best player in the playoffs. Why he was the best player in the finals? The year Ooh. they beat LeBron James, Tim Duncan wasn't the best player in that series. And this and there's and guess what? There's years where Magic Johnson wasn't either. Uh, okay, but time out. That, that is let me ask you this question, Lo. everybody. Lo, let me put this on your brain real quick, Low. Low, you ever seen you ever seen Urban Magic Johnson get benched in the NBA finals? I saw Popovich bench the great Tim Duncan and lose a championship. Bench it, put him on a bench. I've 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 seen Magic Johnson play so bad they called him Tragic Johnson. Okay, exactly. but he never got benched. Tim Duncan me, they should they should have benched him. They should have no, he wasn't that bad. Magic Johnson threw away an entire game in that series. He, he didn't throw away. Game. He did turn. He did turn the ball yeah, over. He, at the other game. Game. So I guess, I guess, I guess he should have benched because if he, he, he didn't turn the ball over, he did turn won. the ball over. He did. Let me ask a question to Ticket. Ticket, why do you? And then after this, we got to move on. Yeah. Ticket, why do you keep bringing up that? So Duncan didn't win back to back. He has because five. Hold great. on, he has five, and Magic had five. Because so. it's called dominant. Hold on, it's called it's, dominant. Okay. When you're a true dominant team, most mm -hmm. of the dominant teams in the history of the game went back to back. Look, the the Warriors, they won back to back. No, no, no. Okay, you don't oh, have. Oh, I, I get it. No, I get that. Now, now the next question. You answered it. You answered it. You don't, no, no, right, right, right. The, the Celtics, right. Okay. back to back with Bird. Okay. Jordan, back to back. Tim Duncan okay. is the only dude that didn't win back to back. Perfect. Okay, you got it there. You said okay, that, whatever. Back to back. So, okay, listen now. So, after Magic won back to back, 
when the next time he won the championship after that? that you're not hearing what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just asking you a question. 12 years, in 12 oh. years, Magic goes to nine finals. In 20 12 years, years. Uh-huh. in 20 years, mm-hmm. Duncan goes to six. Yeah, and we go back. And okay. Oh, no, no, but, no. But, see, this, this it's not, not a thank you. It's not a thank you. It's not a thank you. So the same argument for LeBron going Exactly. It's not a thank you. So now I have a question. Magic Johnson was in a weak conference. So let me ask you another question. Tim Duncan was. Listen. Listen. Listen to this. Hold on, Hold on, Lowe. Hold on, Lowe. Hold on, Lowe. The it Western was Conference whack, was whack. Weak ass conference. Let's, let's, hold let's on, Tim, it. hold on, no whack. stop. Tim Duncan was in a conference that was by far not yeah. even close. By far the most talented conference of your lifetime, of anybody else's lifetime, and Listen. still got to the finals as often as he did. Still won as many championships, championships as my, uh, Magic, and still won as so many finals MVPs. There was never a moment where Tim Duncan played with a player as great as Kareem Abdul Jabbar. There was never a moment Ever. like that. There was so never a moment there? where why he was on a team. With, with four, with four, oh five, all, Duncan won. Oh seven, oh Duncan won. All in their prime. It well, never Lowe, ever why happened. Why you ain't never get Kobe that same? Lowe just turned up Kobe, on y'all Kobe, Kobe so played that same. No, I, 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 I applaud Kobe for beating him. I applaud. I, I sincerely he, applaud him. Did Duncan, did, Magic Johnson I, 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 and did Duncan take a worse team than the ninety one Lakers in the finals? Say it again. Did did Duncan take a worse team than the ninety one Lakers to the finals? The nineteen ninety Spurs was worse. David right, Robinson, you know. the following year, couldn't get out the first round. He was shooting yeah, 37. The, the 99 years. Spurs, the the 99 years. Spurs that beat the Knicks was crazy. The 99 Horrible. Spurs that beat the Knicks was Horrible. crazy. Hey, that was yeah, a lockout season, crazy. Dude. 30 that games that season, dude. They played it, was, it was 50. It was 50. That was a lockout season, too. Come on. Let's keep it real. So, so now we're we'll saying lockout we'll seasons don't we'll matter. Now all of a sudden they got an next year. No, 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 no. Lo, what we saying is, what we saying is, we all know that a lockout season is different because teams don't get that much time for preparation in off season. You really don't get time to get a rhythm during the season because you're playing a short amount of games. And that season, the Knicks were a surprise team. Now everybody thinks that the, the season, Knicks were the, the, the eight seed for the crying out loud. The eight seed went to the finals. Man, cut it out, boy. Cut, bro, so cut so out, again, again, that Knicks so, team so, was so, not so, an eight. So, 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 eight seed. They no, weren't no, no, no. They, 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 they weren't as good as like they weren't as good as they perceived. But again, Tim Duncan and, T- and the rest of that roster also had the same 50 games, the same preparation. If, anything, everybody else. They, if anything, they had less because Tim Duncan had just gotten the league. So he wasn't like he built up seven, 10 years of chemistry with David Robinson. And then they got to the final. You're right. And you know what else he didn't have to do? So you know what else he didn't have to do? Hold on. You know what else he didn't have to do? He didn't have to go through an 82 game grueling season. He only had to go through the same as college 45 games. It was everybody that year had the same. It was a 50-game season. Yo, yo fluid, fluid. I don't get it. Fluid. For every point, there's a counterpoint. Fluid. Is all I'm saying. No, not. It's I don't not, understand that one because that wasn't. No, that wasn't his rookie year. That was his second year. So he went through 82 his first year when he was rookie of the year. When he was yeah. first team, all this. So he did it. He did that grueling already. No, so but that's I'm, fine. The year that he goes to win a championship, though. He didn't. It's it's easier when you play less games this season. You know so the more if games it, you if play, it was, the more than... if, it, if it was easier, then why didn't why didn't the Lakers win a game? If it was easier, when they didn't win a game win in '99, in '99. Oh, when they, they got swept win. by San Antonio, yeah, they, got swept. they got swept. That was a better team. That San Antonio team was a better team no, than no, the Lakers but, were. No, no, it was easier. So why didn't he win one game? Because that Lakers, because that San Antonio team was a better yeah, team. What do you, what, what do you, what, wait a minute. What do you, what, what's the, I'm, I'm trying to understand what your stance is. Your stance, no, low, your stance, low, 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 Yo, read this roster, and then we got to. I'm because I'm, 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 after, it's, it's, after it's, that it's, year, you ain't got to read after that year. Right most it's, of them got swept. Is, most of them won three in a row. Derek after that year, it's Glenn, Fisher, it's Glenn Rick Rice, Fox. it's Glenn mm-hmm. Rice, Colby, Shaq, Derek Fisher, Rick Fox. Mm-hmm. So Robert, they just, Robert Ory coming off the bench, and Brian right, Shaw. So, oh, they so other than right, so other Derek Harper at that time. Not, not Brown. Uh, Ron Harper. So, Ron Harper. Ron, uh, no, no, Darius. No, they ain't get Ron Harper to the next year. You're yeah. talking about so, yeah. so they right. so they switch Harpers and they switch Glenn Rice with with who? Because no, they after didn't switch that, with anybody. That's the same crew uh, that won the championship. No, 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 no. Glenn Rice left. That won, Remember, that's that the that same crew that won three in a row. So Tim Duncan well, in his second year swept a Lakers team that just went on to three peat following year. 
No, Glenn Rice left that next year. Glenn Rice, no, no, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn Rice was in 2000, but they didn't they didn't play the Spurs in 2000 because David Robinson he couldn't he couldn't handle it. Right. He couldn't handle right, it. So but, he got, he got right, right. Well, that's what I'm saying. That Lakers core was there, and they got swept by. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. <laughs> now, well, hold on, hold, hold on, though, Dell, because that logic doesn't work because the because the year after that they mopped the floor with them dudes in the Western Conference Championship in 2001. Walked right by right. them dudes. Yes, they not mopped. Only, not, not, Mop the Lakers. The Lakers mopped the studio in the Western Conference. But I, but I would argue at that time, Kobe, Kobe definitely. But, Kobe but, definitely but, but what's the name is a different player than Tudo? Um, that uh, David Robinson. David Robinson even, is worth <laughs> That's the point. Yeah. Right? And, and, see, and, and that's, the, that's the logic that you're trying to sell me, Low, that David Robinson was a different player. Of course he was a different player in 2003 when the San Antonio Spurs won the NBA that, championship. That, that, that now, with point, Magic, now, with Magic, now with Magic, Jabbar is not the same dude in 87 that he was in 80. Jabbar is not the same. Jabbar is not in 87. Between David Robinson well, first and 99. All, at, 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 first of all, Jabbar, uh, David Robinson at no point was ever better than Jabbar. I'm not going to fight that. That part, I'm not, that part I'll never argue. Even, no. even, wait, even, wait, even, even relative, relative to who they were as players, was Jabbar closer to prime Jabbar in the beginning of Magic's career versus David Robinson closer to prime um, David Robinson when Tim Duncan's career, because I would argue Kareem was definitely closer to what prime Kareem looked like than David Robinson did. Well, you're talking about his injury too, so that that matters. That's the what fact that's, that, but that's that, all that, that the all fact, comes the, the to fact that he the fact that he got hurt that yeah. matters because we're talking about a dude when 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 Tim Duncan got him, he was in year seven, so he was in his prime. He just got hurt. That was the difference. And then and then, and then also hey, the last point, Dell. They. Then yes, they they completely demolished them in 01 and they beat them again in 2002. But then in 2003 rolled around and Tim yes. Duncan yet again was able to lead them past the um the um the um Kobe and Shaq Lakers. Yep. And he did so. I know people are going to say, oh well, Dave Robinson on the team. Dave Robinson 37. He's a few weeks away from retiring. He was over. He, he was, was over. done. He Manu was Ginobili. Over. Manu Ginobili's on the team. He was a rookie at that time, and Tony Parker was a sophomore. So the point I'm making is that. Were they great players on the team? Yes, they inevitably turned out to be that great. But Tim Duncan proved that with subpar talent for relative to where they were at that point in their career, he was still able to lead his teams beyond Kobe and Shaq. He was able to able to lead his team beyond um um um, De um what's what's my name? What's my man name? Detroit. Um, he's been, working he's been, them. Yeah, Detroit. He's the same, Detroit. The same Absolutely. Detroit, the same Detroit team that beat the Lakers the year before, he was able to go past them. Yep. So, yes. And I can say the same thing about Magic, too. We're talking about Tragic Johnson, who the next year they end up going into Boston and beating them, and that was on the strength of Jabbar and Magic. And I can say the same thing about Magic, who two years after that was the finals MVP, who ended up surpassing Bird and becoming that player, and that was on the strength of him getting better. So I can say the same thing about him, too. Yeah, and don't forget, I, I, keep bringing up, I keep bringing up 91 because the 91 Lakers were not – other than Magic, a great team. If you look at their roster versus the Spurs roster you're bringing up, and yet they got by Houston Rockets with Hakeem Olajuwon, Golden State, the Portland Trailblazers went to two finals in three years. Like it's not like they didn't play. When you say the West was weak, they played some pretty damn good teams. Well, you, well, you, no, I mean, he's talking now. Dell talking and Low talking about the eighties. Now the Low talking about the eighties. Oh my bad. Oh, right. Low was talking about the eighties. Go ahead, Ron. I'm sorry. Was, as you were saying. We, oh yeah, sorry, Ron. We got to keep it pushing. I got one more player for you guys. You oh, guys you don't know who this player in. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, had, I had to add one more person in there because it wouldn't be right if I didn't add this individual in there. Now, be the GOAT. Now, 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 chat, I'm about to put this up. You guys go vote too. When you go vote, like the video as well. It's 1,600 people in here, and we have about 1,000 likes. Y'all get us up to about 1,100, maybe even 1,200 if y'all on your job. Gotta Last player, goat. who's more impactful to winning? Magic Johnson. Or Steph Curry. Oh, y'all are crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Give me a Magic this is or Steph. Give me a this is nasty. No That's a good one, too. This is nasty. Oh, we, we, hey, we, 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 got, we, we got two goal point guards. This ain't, this ain't nasty. This is easy. But you, 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 you didn't give me the I mean, you give me the opportunity to think about this before I got on here. I mean, I already know who I got, so I could go first. Yeah, go ahead, go, go ahead, go. Oh, I'm going Steph. What? Hold up, Tiki. Let him, let, let, let him give his logic first. And then, and logic, then if, I'm if, just going to If you want to dive on him, that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's, not, Del, that's not good enough. It's not, yo, he, I said that's, that's, that's not good enough, Dell, because I said so. Ain't no 12 year olds up here. Why are you going with Steph? <laughs> it's, 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 not, it's not about it being 12 years old. Oh, 12 years old is the fact of the matter is when I look at like Steph and what he generates on mm -hmm. winning for the Warriors all mm -hmm. the time.
I think that's more impactful than what I with the magic. That's all literally the, the answer. No, wow. let me go this next. Go ahead, go ahead. What do you mean all I, the time? It's I'm not all the time. No, when I Steph now, like what Steph been since twenty since it's Steph been. became Steph. <laughs> his <laughs> impact when, of when, when did Steph become Steph? So we clear it's 2022 now. When did he become Steph? 2015. No, I would I would say it's a game they it's a it's a series that thing they lost against the Spurs. Mark Jackson was coaching. Okay. And it was a hell of I think it was the Spurs that's, they lost to. I think I think that's 2013. No, that's 2014. And it was a hell of a battle. And I'm like okay. 2014. Oh, oh, this this about to get crazy. Okay. So he ain't <laughs> Steph yet. He on his way to he ain't oh, Steph yet. He on his it, way to be. No, no, it's, it's, then, it's 20 it's 2013, 2014 like, he lost to the Clippers. Like I said, year year 6, the first time he's an All-Star, 2013-14. Oh, is that year 6? Okay, yeah. that's when Steph is like, say. okay, yeah. I'm and then 2014, yeah, that's lost to the Clippers, then in 2015 yeah. MVP and then it's been so that's, so what that's it the is, bro. Going with. Ticket, I'm gonna, I'm no, gonna no, give you no, no, that's not the logic everybody else going with. That's the one I'm going with. That's what I'm talking about. That's the, that's Yo, the logic I, I'm going I, with. Okay, okay, okay. Go ahead, Mo. I'm going, I got, I got magic. I got magic. 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 I got magic. Okay. I got magic. And just, just because of the, like, the immediate impact coming into the league, even when um Kareem and them were declining still, like, putting up impactful in numbers on the, on, on the floor. Yeah, I gotta go magic. Co this year, this year though, Curry was this year was very and very and, and, and that's the, that's what I was about to bring up to you. Uh, when, you bring, when you bring when you bring up his yeah. immediate impact yeah. on the rookie year for Magic, I could go, bro. They get a clay that didn't play for two years. A new person with Andrew Wiggins. Yeah, this like, year was impressive. Yeah, this you know what I'm saying? It's of course it's yeah. Nah, Steph different, boy. I'm going. I'm. I'm are y'all gonna have to? Nah. <laughs> yeah, he different. Hold on, he different. He with that role. He, he with that stack in the deck too. Cause look, let's let's be honest. Oh, and this is why I'm going with Urban oh, Magic Johnson. No, watch this. Watch, listen to what I'm saying. Before yeah, ticket, go. talk to him. y'all say that. Listen to what I'm saying. Cause I want you to be very very clear with this. First of all, Mr. Dell, let's go back and look at, like he said. Magic was dominant when he came in the door. It took Amazing. Steph Curry four or five years. Now, secondly, okay. secondly, you talking about Steph Curry winning. The first championship Steph Curry won, a lot of people questioned that because there was injuries all throughout that run. And okay. he played a LeBron James team without these two second best players. So people question that. But then what did he do? Hold on. Do you he question that? Hold on, hold Don't on, talk hold about on, people. Hold Just hold talk on, for hold you. On, hold on, hold yeah, do, yeah, do you question that? Do you question that? Yeah, exactly. Hold exactly. No, 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 Ticket, just real quick. Wait, wait, wait. Ticket, I muted you. I muted you. No, Ticket, I muted you because when you ask questions, you be pressing them to answer it. So no, now we no, want I'm saying you to answer. Ron, Ron, I'm saying he went back and, and got walked down the next year. And instead no, of, I, I don't care. Know, in 2015, instead of, going back, do you instead of going back with the same team, instead of going back with the same team against LeBron, what did he do? He ran and got KD. He had nothing to do with that. Don't count. No, 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 they, 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 listen, they, and they could have went back with the same teams against LeBron James, but guess what? They knew LeBron had their number and smoked them out. So they didn't want to go back like that with LeBron. So they put the cheat code in and went and got KD. So them two chips don't count on his winning to me because KD right. came in was a final. Pause season. there. No, no, you no. See, no. You see, you see, you see. No. Yes, I, I, I bet. Pause. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. So you see, Ticket, this is why this is always get fishy to me because I've been back and forth with you with this KD thing, with this Braun thing a lot of it. So it gets fishy. fishy. I so, like fishy. So, I like that word. So so right now, <laughs> you're, 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 you're in a way boasting LeBron to the, to 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 shit on Steph. No, because I, I, I be, hold on, hold on, ticket, hold on, ticket. Hold go on, ahead, Dale. Keep going. Because I've heard you say that if Draymond came back from the walk down, they would have won. You went out, Hello? Dale. Sorry. You went yeah, again. Yeah. Yeah. I've, I've I've heard you. I've heard you bit boast. Like shit on on Braun and him mm -hmm. coming back and winning. I feel like they had he the had to win that's because right. that's right. He, uh, he had to get his image past this, that, this hey, that, and the third. Right. They they should have lost and all that stuff. You so right. it, you you it's like you go back and forth no, when it, when it seems to it. your point. No, hold on, hold up, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's, 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 right that's here. all I'm saying. It seems like you go back and forth when you arguing. No, no, no. Watch this, which brings up my point. I'm glad you said that. Yes, I felt like if Draymond would have stayed. The momentum was in the Warriors' favor to win that series. But let's tell the truth. If Curry and them really thought, and everybody really thought, that they would have won that series with Draymond, why they didn't just run it back the next year with the same team? I'm asking you, what did you think, though? You keep bringing yeah, other people. Yeah, that's not how you I feel about it. That's not how you feel about it. That's not how you feel about it. I agree. Hold on, hold on. 
I agree with you. But what I'm saying is, is that oh, okay. the next year, the next year is what killed Curry for me. Because when you went and got KD for those two years and he won two finals MVPs on your watch, that killed him for those two chips. So the two other ones, cool, no problem. He got them. But you can't put him over Irvin Magic Johnson because Curry got two championships where you legitimately questioned, did was he the dude on those teams? But I don't. Not but me, you're you're, you're bringing up a point that, that I don't <laughs> agree with because Magic got five championships and he wasn't the dude or whatever the the dude five times. Is that it's five, the dude? You know what I'm saying? Because when I say impact, I still look at Magic for those championships the most impactful on that team because he's there. It's not about he's playing. They're not getting there without Magic. I'm not demeaning Kobe's impact on that three peat because he didn't get Finals MVP. I'm not. That's not what I'm doing. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. I had an argument about Clay Thompson <laughs> and his impact, even though he plays like shit, but he's there on the court, and that and that helps. All right, Dale, that, that's your impact. Yeah, okay. For the same way you said about Draymond, which I admit it, you're right. I did say that, but I also said, and put this on there, that they would have lost the first chip. I said they would have won the second one, but they would have lost the first one if LeBron James' team was healthy. They would have lost that first one, and so now we're still taking a chip away from him. And Chill, you can't are. take it away because he won. Are, no, right. no I'm are. saying that because no, I'm saying that because you have question marks around that, bro. So what I'm saying to you is is the two that they went and got KD, I really can't count those two in Curry's favor. He won the chips, yes, they won, but I can't say Curry because they had to go get KD to win. If he would have won one of those two without KD, cool, we ain't got no argument. But against Magic Johnson. So I got a question. I got a quick question. And, 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 ask your question, then I need you to tap in to chill with who yeah. you're taking out of Magic and Steph as I'm, a more impactful player. Num number one, so the, the, the 73 and 9 Warriors, greatest regular season team in NBA history. Got questions. Had the big had the biggest collapse in NBA history. Correct. James's team, when they were healthy, beat them. So why would they beat them? And, and Steph played get poorly. Let's, Let's make sure we clear on that. Him and him and Clay Thompson, game seven, 12 for 36, six for 24 on the long ball. Both of those guys, too. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being said, why would they beat them in the first year if Kyrie Irving and Kevin Love is healthy, but they'd lose to them the next year because when Curry, they were a better because, team? Because Curry wasn't healthy. What do you mean Curry wasn't healthy? Curry Don't, wasn't healthy. Lo, lo, you're not selling healthy. me that you're not selling me that he, he wasn't, wasn't healthy. He, he was wasn't. out there. If he was out there, he was ready to rock and roll. If Curry, he wasn't, if, not, if he if he wasn't, because I can tell you right now, Lo, if they would have won that NBA championship, I wouldn't hear a peep out of you about them, about Steph Curry being hurt. I wouldn't hear a peep out of you about Bogut not being in, in the series. I wouldn't hear a peep out of you about, about Andre Iguodala not playing against the Houston Rockets and they serving them. I wouldn't hear a peep out of you if they'd have won the NBA championship. But the fact that they lost in the dramatic fashion that they lost in, now all of a sudden, Curry wasn't healthy. So there's no reason for me to think that if they would have beat, if Cleveland would have beat them, if Irvin and, and Love was healthy in 2014 15, there's no reason for me to think they wouldn't have beaten them again next year. So was, there's was no magic, reason for me to magic, think that. Now, was with that being said, eight, was Magic Healthy in 89? Okay, hold on, Lowe. Now, okay, I'll ask you a question. Was, he, was, was last Magic time. Healthy in 89? Was Magic Healthy in 89? Yes, he was healthy in 89. Oh, he won the league MVP that year. No, I'm talking about in the finals. He wasn't in the finals in 89. Oh, oh yeah, I'm he sorry. Was, he, was, he, was the the he was in the finals. He was in the finals. Well, he wasn't There's a difference. He did not, after after game one, if I'm not mistaken, after game one, when he took when he when he tore his hamstring, he was done for the series. That didn't happen to Steph Curry. He played it's not three the same games. thing. He played three out of the four games. Actually, he played the set the sec the third game. He played what five minutes? He didn't. He played barely five minutes in that game. Don't even go there, low. No, he was not even close to the same thing. Give me a break. You are not so, trying to so, tell us on that. Add that to the fact that he played. He played. <laughs> I, I just he played. He played. He played three. The only he, he missed game three. And he played five games, but the other the other two he played 41, 29 game twenty nine minutes. So he, he played game two was the game. He got hurt. Game two yeah, was the game. He got he hurt. Played, he played game 29 three, minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Game two was the game. He got hurt. Game three. He played five minutes. Basically. He didn't play game four. Detroit mopped them out the play. Yeah. Game four. He didn't play. Yeah. They, Detroit mopped them out the players. Now to answer yeah. your question, Ron, I think that magic was more impactful than, than Steph Curry. Number one, the same logic that I've had the entire time. The fact that he was that dude right from the beginning, way more than Steph Curry. Not only was he that he was more impactful on the offensive end of the floor and he was just as impactful, if not more impactful, on the defensive end of the floor, speeding the game up, playmaking, and doing all of those good things. So when I think about Steph Curry, who became that guy 
I, because I've said this to you guys in the past, I take being an All-NBA performer very seriously. And for mm -hmm. Steph Curry to mm -hmm. not make the All-NBA team until year five, we're talking about a dude who almost had his career. He wasn't that dude. So now, if his career ended today, Steph Curry in year 13. But he was hurt. Like most, like he missed like 20, 30 games because of the ankle. And, 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 and I'm, glad, like, I'm, I'm glad you brought that like, up, too. I'm glad you brought that up, too. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's, yeah, that, 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 that plays a part. That, that, that's very important. You know why that plays? It's just one year, that, though. And the, reason, and, and the reason why no, he missed play, He missed some games in the yeah, other joint. He missed right. like a ball, and but the, the, his ankle was really a bother. And, Dale, the reason why, and the reason why that matters is because now we got to question your durability. And when we question your durability, we're questioning your greatness. Can you hold up? Because But we ain't questioning no more. Let me ask you a question, though, Chill. Chill, ain't it the same person? Finals that, that LeBron James, they were saying that he had more MVP votes than Steph Curry that that, that series. So well, we yeah. talk about impact on winning. Steph Curry wasn't even he he the Andre Iguodala won Finals MVP. James That's a well, listen, those, listen, those, listen, those listen, people, listen. Those people, that, that was that was dumb. That, should that was the happened. dumbest thing oh, no, no, I've no, ever. No, no, other no, than no, from no, game no, from, no, from no, game no, three no. on, there was more no. people saying LeBron James should have been Finals MVP. And, oh, all well, that, but but Iguodala on, winning, Iguodala winning it was dumb. That should have never happened. Yo yo yo. Do you agree? Do you agree? Braun should have won Final MVP. Ticket. I'll be, I'm more, I'm more, no, oh, ticket, I ticket, ticket. No, I ain't saying, I don't think no. All right, okay, so don't even bring up what other people say. I don't think, listen, <laughs> right. I, do, I do agree, I do agree, <laughs> I, like I do that. agree I like that. with Iggy winning finals MVP. I do agree no, with that. No, you no, don't, bro. No, 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 Iggy don't want to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what. Tell us why ticket and that's fluent. I need to hear from you. He got locked down a game and half that series by a dude named Matthew Della Vadova. No, he did And also, also, the series changed when they put Iggy in the starting lineup, put him on the branch because he was giving you on both sides of the ball. He gave you an up and offense, and he gave you a great on uh, uh, great effort on defense. Okay, pause, pause, pause. 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 So you started, you started, yeah, you started your take. Well, the series didn't change when they started Andre Hold on, hold on, hold on. It started, it started, it started when Curry, when Curry was started averaging hold on, forty points. That's exactly. You started your take, <laughs> ticket, by saying. What about, the game? what about the game? What about the game? Ticket, ticket. Hold on, ticket. Go ahead. You started your take by saying LeBron should have won Finals MVP. I didn't. I said people. People, people were saying that he right. should have won MVP. Okay, Not right. I mean, okay, got you. People, people were saying LeBron should have won Finals MVP. Those those same people are are voting for someone that guarded LeBron. So yeah. how it, how should LeBron still win if they lost, but the person that was guarding him got it? Yeah, now, I, that. Right. Man, I'm not the listen, I'm trying to understand. No, that whole thing is that whole thing is dumb. I'm trying to understand. Hold on, hold on. All I'm saying is this: I'm not the voter, but for the people who no. voted, they hold on. For the people who voted, that was at the games, they felt like Steph Curry wasn't heads and shoulders. And they were dumb. And they were, and they were very Steph dumb. Curry that was sad. The Warriors that won the chip. They he won the MVP. Just stop. Let's just, they dumb. Uh, they were dumb. They were fluent. Fluent. They were dumb. So it's clearly look. I got to tell you this. If it wasn't for this year, if it wasn't for this year, this actually wouldn't even be a debate. Everyone would say magic. That's and the fact. reason why everyone would say magic is because when Steph Curry's not on, so let's look at that 3-1 series lead that they lost. When he's not shooting poorly, what he does or what he provides the team is less than magic. So Magic wasn't known as a scorer. If Magic's shot was off, that's okay. He'll he'll distribute. He'll play make. He'll do other things more so than I'm not saying Steph doesn't, but I think more so than Steph. So who's more impactful to winning? I, I got Magic, but it's again if it, it, it's a lot closer because of what Steph showed us this year. It's hey, chill and ticket. I have one more question I want to ask both of y'all. So in 2015, y'all had Braun and went beating the Warriors. If Kyrie and Love don't get hurt, right? Yeah. I think that they do beat them. Okay. So, and they won, of course, in 2016 with the walk down, right? So, they won 15, but if, if they didn't get hurt, you had I think them winning. So I think, I'm not going to say winning, Dell, but I will. I think it's a different series. I do. Okay, I mean, okay. And the I difference would be them winning. Series. So, yeah. that, that'd be back to back. So, why do both of y'all hate the KD move so much? Because KD was right there. Your team oh my was God, in the NBA Gail. final. Hold on, listen. No, no, no. I'm going to say this I just want to ask a question. I'm going to say this again. Hold on. KD was right there. He had already went to an NBA oh. finals, and then you was one game away from going back to the finals again. With, so, and you so, left. And hold on. And you left and went to the team that smoked you out. So, Three games. It, it, so no, they the, needed him or – my question yeah, is, did they on. need him or not? Did they need Kevin Durant? Did the Warriors need Kevin Durant? That was absolutely the line. Jordan was the line. It's actually two answers. Let me – it's two answers. That's what I want to ask. Did they need KD? 
No, because they had been to the finals and just won 73 games. Did it make it a lot easier for them to win with KD? Yeah, yes. 100%. Oh, on, and, and you know what? And I don't even blame. Hold on. I've said this. I don't blame KD. KD was a free agent. He went to a team. And if I'm the Warriors and I'm saying LeBron stacked the deck, well, I'm going to do it too. So that's so, why I don't blame him. So, don't so, so if LeBron run it back after winning, if him and Kyrie like how they ran it back after they won that chip, right? Yeah. And KD don't go to the Warriors. Who do y'all have winning? LeBron winning again. Because he had it. Listen, Draymond Green already came out and said this. Draymond Green just said that they had That's their all I'm asking. Draymond, Draymond Green said, without KD, we don't beat them. The dude y'all praise, $100 million man, the glorified role player, the dude you call Hall of Famer, he just said it. He came out in the interview and said nationally, you can look it up. He said, if KD did not come to us, we lose to LeBron James. End of story, period. He was in the locker room. He was there. No cut. No cut. <laughs> Fresh off the boat. <laughs> yeah, and Draymond, Draymond said a lot of crazy things, so I don't, I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's, I, I, I it's on you, Ron. I wouldn't be quoting Draymond. Ron, when, 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 when I think about the impact that, that Magic Johnson has had on winning, you know, we talk a lot about Steph Curry's ability to score. Magic has more 2010 games than Steph Curry. Steph Curry has, I think, 160 uh, – I'm sorry, 50, 54. Magic Johnson has over 200 2010 games. He's got more 30-10 games than Steph Curry. He's got more 2020. He's got more 2020 games than <sighs> Steph Curry. And with all of that stuff being said, that stuff impacted him winning more. Now, we talk a lot about how Matt, how Steph Curry's ability to score was better than Magic. Well, the proof is in the pudding. Magic, Magic's ability to score, and that, that's not including the 25 and 18 games, the 30 and 9 games. That doesn't include those games. So Magic was doing all of this stuff while he was running around from day one. He didn't do this. It didn't take year five, year six for this to happen. This was going on from the door, and it went on the entire time, the 12 years that he was in the league. And the last thing that I'm going to say, Ron, is I'm not the guy that's running around here. There's a guy running around here saying that Bob Cousy is the best point guard that I've ever seen. I was 60 years ago. Magic retired in 1991. I was 30 years ago. Do I think that in the next 20 years, I'm never going to see another point guard better than Magic Johnson? I don't think so. I don't know that I'm not going to see somebody better than him. It's just not this guy. That's all. I hope I hope we find somebody better because that'll be that'll suck. <laughs> that'll uh, suck. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I, the league I, just I hope, I hope not as a Magic and Laker fan. But that's the other thing, right? It goes to the, the, the thing of winning. Curry's phenomenal. Greatest shooter of all time. Does so many great things. Like I said, if it wasn't for this year, but Magic, Magic could step in and play center and drop 42 and 15. Curry can't do that. He does other things. He couldn't do that. Because he wasn't 6'8". But yeah, if he was 6'8", he probably could do that. Yeah. And that, that, that matters. <laughs> you got to deal with what that, you're that doing. All right, that so matters. we got we to wrap this up. It was a pleasure having all you fellas on here. Thank you to everybody that watched from beginning to end. <laughs> oh Go ahead God. and like the video <laughs> on your way out. Thank you all for tuning in. Yo, tomorrow's Wednesday. You know what time it is. We got Love, Player's Choice the show bright and early in the morning, 9, 9 Pacific time, 12 noon. Uh, on the East Coast. We also have Players' Choice Gridiron tomorrow night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, 5 Pacific. Y'all be sure to tune in. My man flew in to be up there with me. Week one, Dub. baby. Week hey, one, you, baby. You know what time it is. It's a big week coming up in the NFL. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to catch y'all at the same time next week. Thanks be for there. having me, guys. I appreciate y'all. Take it hey, light, guys. Take playing. it light. My boys come find you over there in the UK, boy. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> 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 